What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's Spider-Man in review. It's not so much a cinematic universe, so it doesn't no, really have not that at fun. All. No MC. We previously we've done the MC in review. We've done the XC in review. What's up, Nick Scarfino? Uh, I just want everyone to know that I'm doing this under protest because I wanted to call it the Spider-Man. Nick very much wanted to call this Spider-Man in review. Ranking, yeah. ranking the Spider-Man. Spider SEO doesn't work. Then it's, yeah. Why you say welcome back? It's the first episode of the show. Yeah, it's, but you know, people know. People well, understand no, this he, is the same show. It's our kind of funny in review. Oh, who are you, sir? It's me, Greg Miller. What are you talking about? Shirted Spider-Man? Okay, guys. Yeah, what, okay, guys. What, what is your brand if here, you're, If you're an audio listener, yeah, I'm wearing a Spider-Man mask. Big deal. That you're doesn't just mean I'm shirtless Spider-Man. You're just a fan. You're clearly just wearing, talking through popcorn. Your eyelashes you know, are coming out of the webbing on your eyes. I have popcorn. fantastic eyelashes, and everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah. I never noticed that before. I know. Very you long, long and long and long and long and long and long A lot of women have told me they would kill for my eyelashes. I'll have you know that. That's something I hang my head on. Have they killed people? No, no, because I, you can't do it. You can't take it. You can't take them like that. Fucking liars. I'm Tim Geddes. This is Andy Cortez. Hey, guys. That's Kevin Koala. We got Greg Miller. Hi. The shirted Spider-Man. I'm, I'm I'm not saying you're shirtless Spider-Man. That'd be rude. Did you just like, say he's shirtless Spider-Man? No, I'm saying he's shirted Spider-Man. And then we have Nick Scarpino take over your, there joining us. Shirt. This show happens every what Thursday at 9 a.m. on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny. Or you can get the podcast by searching for Kind of Funny Reviews on your podcast service of choice. Like I said earlier, we did the MCU movies. We did the XCU movies. Now we're doing Spider-Man. A lot of people ask, what movies does this include? It's the Sony Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Stop trying to get back and cute. And I understand, oh, but Are Homecoming is also MCU. Maybe. We're going to get through this together. And let's just all we're fucking not doing say it. Home, we're not right? doing Homecoming. Let's just all put it out there right <laughs> now. One. Does anyone disagree that Homecoming would be number one if it was on this list? I, I have not. I will wait to render my verdict because I have not seen Venom. And remember, the point of You're in review, right. the point of in review is that we build up to something. Remember, XCU, of course. Well, let's start with Avengers. Avengers or MCU was building into Avengers. Mm. XCU was originally going to build into the Phoenix, but then they just punted that fucking movie and we just bit down and did it. <laughs> now months. we're leading Spider-Man leading into Venom. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm going to withhold my judgment until right. I see That's Venom. That's a solid, mm -hmm. solid call. Because remember we'll when he goes, see. we are Venom. And, <laughs> and remember when he goes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're going to see it and it's totally going to make sense why he acts and talks that way. We'll see. Because <laughs> he got kicked by a Bad fucking direction. horse when he was a kid. <laughs> 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 I feel like that, or he grew up in like 18 different countries with all different accents, mm -hmm. and it's all just melting into one. Mm -hmm. That are Tom melting pot. How hard is it to spend too much time on his New York accent there? <laughs> He's in San Francisco, <laughs> dummy. Can you even watch the trailers? And ranking Spider Man. Why is he doing a New York accent then? <laughs> The 2002 classic, the first of the trilogies, the Sam Raimi trilogy, yep. the Tobey Maguire mm -hmm. trilogy, yep. one of the ones that started it all, released on May 3rd, 2002. Interesting thing here. Here comes the interesting mm -hmm. factoids. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man 2 came out in 2004, and then Spider-Man 3 in 2007. Nowadays, with MCU and even XCU, it's like these things are popping off left and fucking right. Sure. Back then, that, that's a long amount of time to have to wait to see the conclusions to these storylines. Well, I think what happened was they broke all their lenses doing all those amazing crash zooms every five seconds, and mm -hmm. they had to Save wait for it. more lenses to be, to be available. Man. Yeah. <laughs> also important to point out, like, you know, in terms of the, the context of time, time, you know, like, remember, this one got announced and confirmed during the filming of X-Men mm -hmm. to give you, like, a contemporary on where we were. So X-Men, July 14, 2000. This, May 3rd, 2002. So yeah. it did kind of have that, like, they didn't get to learn too much from X-Men sure. because they were in production doing stuff, but we kind of see it as they, they go on and that, how the two franchises progress. Um, so yeah, then it wasn't until May 2nd that we got, May 2nd, 2008, that we got Iron Man. So there was a pretty big gap there. Was there. The, between 2000 and 2007, those were dark times for these movies. But we thought they were so good. We, but we had an inkling that they weren't. Don't you remember coming Did out there we? and we're like, I guess this is the best we're going to no, do. No, no, with X-Men, after the first one, that's when everyone, I feel like, was, we're talking about, like, Everyone walked out and was like, I can't believe they did it. A, a superhero movie, movie that wasn't terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah Walking yeah. out of Spider-Man, I was stoked. I yeah. thought this is the coolest shit in the world. Like, finally, Agreed. we're seeing it on the big screen, and it's not, well... I was gonna say it's not done cheaply or badly, but man, that again. Talk about we're in the time period. In the time period. Yeah. In the for time, me, man. I'm sorry. For, I mean, like talking about it. Like, there's a great m moment in a comic book. Uh, that's a slice of life comic. It follows this guy's relationship. True story. Swear to God. 
uh, where he goes to New York for the first time and he's read comics his whole life and he looks up at the buildings and he's like, oh my God, it would really work for Spider-Man to swing around here. And for me, even being a fan of Spider-Man and reading the comics and watching the animated series, I never thought too much about it, but there's that great fucking scene in this movie when he's going after Uncle Ben's killer mm -hmm. and he swings at that building and then he webs the one off to the left and then hangs and it's like, yeah. oh yeah, fuck, that's how it would work to be Spider-Man. I thought that was so brilliant. Like there's a lot here of like they do a lot right. Yeah, they plenty do. of it, especially looking back now. How how many? It's been three decades. Three decades later, we look back. We're like, <laughs> three, man, three full decades, there's a lot yeah. weird and wrong here. And like especially <laughs> after seeing like watching it with Jen and explaining to her like certain where we were and all this different stuff. And like, well, I know I'm jumping ahead, but when we get to my favorite scene in the movie or the favorite lead into his thing, anything where, with Willem Dafoe, where uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, he t Green Goblin goes sleep. And then it's just two two characters who you can't see their mouths on screen. Oh God, There's no, no way. Versus blue. No, you can't <laughs> see barely, their mouths. I know, barely once no, in a while. Barely goes and leans. I was like, yeah, yeah, what yeah, do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, this I is fucking are, terrible. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like working what with what you got. Choice. But I mean, yeah. like the way that Spidey's eyes are so emotive in the comics, mm -hmm. and then you watch this, and it's so dead the entire time. It's dead. We've learned so much. Like now, seeing Spider-Man in Homecoming, like the eyes are. Emoting, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. so cool. Uh, so this one directed by Sam Raimi, who created and directed the Evil Dead franchise yep. uh, mm -hmm. with Bruce Campbell. That's why he gets a cameo, cameo. Uh, as a different character you in all three of these movies. Um, he could be the same character. <laughs> I guess he he's could. a ring announcer who then is just uh, working the door at the the theater, and I blocked out when he does in three. You, yeah, just let us get there, man. I forgot you know he was in three. How about that? <laughs> um, Sam fine, Raimi fine. also directed the rest of the Spider-Man trilogy that we're going to watch and 2013's Oz, The Great and the Powerful with James Franco. Did not a great movie. No. Not, I did. I did. Wow. Did not I forgot that it. existed. It did. Did not enjoy it. He also it. did, did. Uh, Drag Me to Hell, right? Yes. Drag Me to Hell, a good movie. Um, this movie had a budget of $110 million. For context, X-Men was $75 million and Iron Man was wow. 140 Okay. Uh, box office of eight hundred and twenty-one point seven million dollars. Wow, that is a fuck ton of money. That's insane. X Men, two hundred ninety-six point three, and then Iron Man, five hundred eighty-five point two. Spider Man, fucking cash cow. Yeah. Hell yeah! You know what I mean, we all we all would expect it, but it was the first film ever to reach a hundred million dollars in a single weekend, and it held the record for biggest opening day ever with thirty-nine point four million dollars, which now is. Yeah. Small potatoes. But back then. You never got record days. Like, uh, if it's not 100 million over the weekend, it's a failure. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, and then the movie had a runtime of two hours and one minute. And it flies by. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I feel like X-Men was work. Mm -hmm. All right. I had to watch all these Tough. fucking muties do their stupid shit. I'm so pumped for this Spider-Man interview. And I'll tell you what. Watching this first one, I know why. Because it's fun and awesome. And Spider-Man's great. Yep. I, I couldn't disagree with you more. This Let me set like the I was scene. In a fucking coal mine the entire time. Like, <laughs> what is he, what's wrong? Like, what's the wrong? last hour of this movie, I'm like, oh man, this, I, this is just painful to watch. I suffer the children because everything with Goblin is terrible. Is everything it? else, no. everything else, I thought was. I'm no. like, I was actually starting this movie. I'm like, wow, this is actually a really fun trip down memory lane. Very yeah. nostalgic. Mm -hmm. Did not realize context contextually. First off, I didn't realize that Danny Elfman did the, the music for this, yeah. which made the whole thing feel like a, a, a Tim Burton directed Spider Man. Which I was like, oh, I'm really enjoying this. And then Willem Dafoe was like, all oh, right, I forgot he was in this. And then we get to Goblin. I'm like, what a fucking garbage throwaway character. They, they just they, a bad guy. Just a bad He's just guy. Just a bad what? guy. Why? I because he went crazy. It. What was his plan? What is his plan? Eliminate the board. Don't yeah. lose Oscorp. Just Get Spider-Man. Eight Ooh. people, and then but there's not one mention of like, hey, there's still one dude left on this board. Do you think he's the one that killed everyone? But it and made also, sense. There's no way the doing... respected Norman Osborn could be the goblin. You're crazy, <laughs> sir. Like, hey, crazy. He does aerospace stuff. What's with this glider? He's that's also like a 50 year old man, you know? Maybe exactly. He's 60. Little, and he looks like a little tell. pencil pushing dork. He's you know jacked. what I mean? Dork. Yeah. He's pretty jacked though yeah. when he goes well, under. Sure. Him. And he jumps I, up and he's like, cool. I enjoyed <laughs> him so about. much. Like, Willem Dafoe is just enjoyable. He's so Willem Dafoe. He's great, but over the top. It's so overly done and they don't give him anything to do. The writing is bad. Across the board in this movie the writing is the dialogue sure. is atrocious the scene where he walks up to the fucking mirror and there's no cuts you just see him like hey i'm the green goblin no i'm not the green goblin hey i'm the green and then they and then i they thought cut. that I was, was like, awesome then so and i think dumb. it's awesome now but green no. goblin's hair was different yeah. he it's, had that, well, that he one, had the it's one thing. eventually there yeah. at the end yeah, well, yeah. yeah you know that's foreshadowing for spider-man 3 where he has the emo hair <laughs> <laughs> i thought Jesus that scene Christ. was so i'm watching that scene and i'm like god damn is willem dafoe good that's my like playing two different characters at the same time no willem dafoe is a phenomenal actor 
And I, in the hands of a lesser actor, that would have that everything would have fallen apart in this yeah. movie. I think he did it as he best a job best. as he possibly could with what he was given on the on the. Page. So many of those scenes reminded me of Batman and Robin. And just you know, talking yes. to the camera Cheesy. and very, very overacted and like but cartoony. See, I feel know? like that's that's, that's such a big step from where we've come, right? Or we've come such a big step from there. Where when they made this movie, it still had to be cartoony. It still had to be a comic yeah. book movie. Whereas now they're just making really good yeah, movies yeah. and they're treating them with the reverence that they deserve. Well, this one still felt you're absolutely fucking lutely right. It still felt like. Uh, Bat American Express card, never leave the Bat Cave without it. Like, it still had those stupid fucking cheesy moments where it, I'm like, I wish they could have just taken it. But it was out. never as campy as that. It like, was pretty fucking it campy. Had, it had, it had, we had crash zooms, yeah. we had, what that's that's Sam Raimi, that's Sam Raimi though, that, you watch Evil and Dead, that's era, like, but I'm willing to bet that a few of those, to... I'm willing to bet lesser of those make it to Spider-Man 2. Because I think Spider-Man 2, they learned a lot from, yep. and they made a more serious movie. I don't, I, I don't think so, man. Well, no. it, for me, it was funny having not watched the original Spider-Man forever, but still remembering it pretty much word for word. Like, I was just reciting it to Jen. She's like, you're weird. Yeah, so was I. I it was I, weird. I you remember that insanely long monologue he had over Aunt May's dead body, where he's like, <laughs> yes! and then I would say this, and he talks for 55 minutes. I'm like, is this fucking scene still oh, going on? Oh, that one. I thought you were talking about. <laughs> when he's talking Finish to. Finish it! Oh. <laughs> for all me! <laughs> what a bad <laughs> This is He's outside, outside the window. The guy, the this, is, this is a dumb question for me, and this is something that came up that I had never Love thought it. about before. You and I'm sure there's a real answer. I'm being serious right now. Uh, can I guess where you're going to go? Yes. Why is Aunt May so old? Why the fuck are they 70 years old? <laughs> no. Here's what I want to say. Jen asked that in at the, the very comics. They Jen, are. Jen paused or wanted me to pause it to talk about it, and I thought it was an interesting thing. What I want to say that it ties into this, right, is something I'd never thought about, especially not having watched this in forever. But on maybe the MCU Reddit back, in, uh, you know, uh, leading up to Avengers, maybe recently, whatever. They had, you know, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. They had uh, Andrew Gar Gold Goldfarb, yeah. and then they had, uh, of course, now Tom Holland. You know, on the one side and the other side, the analogs in where. This movie is so the original uh, Stanley and Steve Ditko, right? Uh, fucking Spider Man, mm -hmm. and then the next one and like Gar Goldfarb, whatever is it's '90s cartoon is somewhere in there. It's more like uh, the one you like a lot, the cartoon that I didn't watch. Spectacular, not. double car whatever they say on Reddit that yeah. I think we, we say it's more '90s than or what uh, or nothing. I I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's none of the above. I think for that one is definitely more like uh, we need to make a cinematic universe where let's, let's try to make a sure that's movie. true. That's true. That's I think true. it's its own thing. Okay, and then the other one, and then Holland being more like Ultimate or whatever, yeah, right? For sure. And so watching this, it, it she Jen was like, "Why is Aunt May and Uncle Ben so old?" And I paused and I was like, "Well, it's it's how it looked in the original one. Right. You notice that Peter looks exact pretty well, except for the like this like Coke bottle glasses and the vest looks so much like a nerdy dorky Peter Parker, right? But I also to your point. I, I was talking to Jen, like, she's got a pretty big age discrepancy with her youngest sister, right? So, like, imagine if her younger, the youngest sister had a kid, and then she got killed, and then we took over. We By the time we got there, we would have 14 or more, 15, 16 years I, on I the Look, It's not that it's not physically impossible. It's it's definitely possible. Just why was it always but like it's this? it's very off-putting to think, like, like why is he supposed, like, he was a senior, I assume, when yeah. we start this? So he's yeah. 18 years old. And Uncle Ben's sixty-five. I'm that on is my a ass, ridiculous uh, But I, age I mean, I think it's just. Not, I think it's just a lot more. I think it's to get a lot of the sort of sympathy from like the old man who's yeah. trying to connect with his nephew. And I mean, it, I, it feels I totally more like a grandfather. That, but sort I feel of like they vibe. nailed that. They 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 didn't have like that's the thing. They nailed it with Mercy Tomei. It feels grandpa. Where they ben. were closer. You got that she was sort of the inexperienced younger sister of his mom or his dad, and that she was just trying to do the best they could. But there was still that. That age gap and that lack of communication that they didn't have. That's this new, was just though. off putting that he was, it felt like he was with his great grandma the entire time. Yeah. But that's what it I, is. I, yeah. I feel like, and, and I agree with you that Marissa Tomei and I love that angle way better than anything we've but seen. That's, I think that's but a, that is a standalone instance. That's of something they're doing, yeah. I mean, even young. ultimate aged Aunt May down, but she still has gray still, hair. Yeah. She, yeah. she was a more hair. hipper old lady, but she was still an old lady. And yeah. I think it is just, I think it, I agree. I'll, I always have. Really? Then it's like you, this touchstone of just like what's it? Your grandparents is what you're filling in. I don't know why they never just so made like it your grandparents. Made, so. Exactly. Why did it need to be an aunt? Why did the parents just die and then we? I had to live with my grandparents. What's Aunt May? I, 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 I understand. Name. Grandma May. Yeah. It's just <laughs> doesn't weird. work. Grandma Parker. It? Uncle Ben. Grandma Ben. Grandpa Ben. No. Poppy. 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 <laughs> 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 I was gonna say Papa, but you said Poppy. Real, real quick, my my big problem with the age thing is how old. 
Tobey Maguire looks. Oh, oh yeah. no. He's oh, going to let's, let's get into Let's get Let, into yeah, the Let's just get into the movie. Yeah. The yeah. movie starts <laughs> with the fucking, some fucking 2002 graphics if I've ever Hell seen. Yeah. PlayStation 3 font. Don't know why oh. they ripped that off. Right. All that's happening. Then we get our voiceover from the one Tobey Maguire. I? You have no fucking idea. And oh, right man. there, Nick has already emoted way more than Tobey Maguire yeah. ever emotes <laughs> in this monologue. Who am I? Well, if somebody told you this was that, they lied. Like, there's just like, what? Did, was this like such a tack on that it it's like in the back a of a cab on. and it's just right like, fucking it's, say this? It's fucking with Tobey Maguire. I do not like him. I don't know why people would like him at all. He's, and just getting ahead I a little bit. Like him. Every single time someone's talking to him and he's listening, like it looks like he has he's such daydreaming. a hard time understanding how to <laughs> listen to someone. He's just there and he'll just be like. It looks like he dropped an edible a day earlier and it's still <laughs> getting, totally. hitting him every fucking moment. And then, except for the one moment where they cut to him and he's in fucking tears. Oh my no, God. And you're like, that's just way it, too much going him. on he here. Missed, he missed Uncle Ben. He's got a weird mouth. Got a weird mouth, Toby. It's one of those, at the time, at the time, I, had, I was like, I, 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 we didn't know what we were doing. But it was, totally. I was fine with it. But watching back, I'm like, man, I can see why. I remember watching people not liking Tim McGuire. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then now watching it as an adult after all these other movies, like, okay, yeah, this was not a great pick. I don't yeah, feel like he, he feels like Peter Parker or Spider-Man. Or Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I just it, guess that from from the cartoon, the Fox Kids cartoon, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the only Spider-Man that I had exposure to, of like the sarcastic kind of like, Cool and not nerdy and getting picked on, like I, not getting bullied. I feel I don't know. It's, it's weird. Well, he wasn't in high school in the nineties, right? He, right. he was already graduated. Yeah, he, he already like had that fly, gra- that brown jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Toby Maguire was twenty seven when he filmed this yeah, movie. True, that's true. And he looked like he's thirty six. <laughs> And so that's no, just no, no, the no. problem with Tobey so, Maguire. <laughs> let, let's catch up here because this is my, one of my most like I could not get past this for the first thirty minutes of this movie. We get this stupid thing, and then and then we cut to the bus. And it's Joe uh, Manganiello, yeah, yeah. who Death is stroke. a forty-five-year-old man <laughs> dressed as kid. he is the Steve Buscemi in that fucking movie, right? Not in the TV movie. It's like, hello, fellow teenagers. Oh, that's yeah. Dirty Rock, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, he's in the bus. And he's like, I'm not that guy. And then it cuts to the other guy who also looks like a thirty-year-old. I'm not that guy. Everyone looks ancient, including the guy. For whatever reason. That they picked to be the teacher. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the teacher <laughs> was younger. <laughs> younger. Than Joe <laughs> everybody else. Just like he's the same age. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking stupid. And bad. I was like, this is a t- that was a terrible choice. Terrible. terrible We're choice. set up that Peter's a dork. He's running alongside the bus. The bus get in there. Fine, we're gonna go. Because of course, Mary Jane, the only one with a heart of gold, says stop the bus. Because even the driver's in on the fucking screw. Why job. is everyone such a dick? Because they're all high school kids. To be honest, after watching this movie again, <laughs> I would yeah. fucking bullied him too. <laughs> <laughs> he's terrible. No. No, he's not. He's just like, oh, I'm doing my the, the nah, photo man. thing. He couldn't take one fucking photo without he's someone elbowing him. Fucking idiot. He also True. couldn't take one fo- fucking photo without being a creep. I hate the relationship between him and Mary Jane. It's weird. It's it is so unfounded. It's, it's weird. This whole movie, and I feel like every relationship, is so rushed through. And like, again, we're looking through this. It moves in a clip, lens. man. It, it moves in so a fast, fast fucking clip. In a way that is not deserved, not earned at we all. We have no aspect it's like, of time, by the to- It doesn't matter. It like that. None of it matters because we any conversation we get, when we hear about his, their relationship. They've lived next door to each other I forever. I hate that. But his fucking like, bedroom window faces her bedroom window. They've right. never spoken that, to yeah, that, no. like, yeah, the fact that uh, that James Franco was like, are you going to go talk to her? And and so I kind of forget that they've lived together their whole entire yeah, so childhood. Like yeah, and it, I just don't... It makes no sense no to sense. me at all. So yeah. weird. Not only that, but by the end of the movie, which, by the way, like, I'll be honest. By the la- by our, like, maybe, like, minute 70 or whatever... Like before the third act happened, I was like, I'm checked out of this movie, so I'm not really paying attention to a lot mm. of t- happening here. Mm. So take it with a grain of salt. But we get to the end, and she's like, Peter, it's always been you, and I'm like, yeah, no, no, it hasn't. No, 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 it hasn't no, 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 it's always terrible, been you. Terrible, you terrible. want to fuck Spider Man because he's dope. <laughs> yeah, but not only has it not always been him, it's a weird thing of like, there's no way she would know that he's Spider Man. No. Why is there the any kiss. type of inkling? I don't no. The lips, fuck those, those fucking that. weird lips. No maybe, he's, maybe he's got <laughs> hand breath. But the fu- like the end of the movie, it sucks because there's so much shit that we got to kind of like, things happen and we're like, we know this because we know Spider-Man. But at the end when he's like, I can't do it. It's like Mary Jane would have been like, what the fuck? And yeah, even as just you. a normal yeah. person watching the movie, they wouldn't know. Like Gia watching this movie, she doesn't understand the whole, they need to hide the, her, the identity or else she's put into You don't think, you don't think she assumed danger. that it was because they she had, she had just broken up with... Uh, 
No, Mary? it didn't feel that way at yeah. all. No, she knows he was Spider Man. She knows he's no, Spider Man. Not until no, 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 no. he walks no away. Idea. Then when she covers her mouth, that's after the that's kiss. That's what she knows. Yeah. She's so like, she wait, knows. if that was an upside down kiss, I would have understood that that was. I mean, she doesn't know. Until yeah, she doesn't know until the next like movie. The end of two. She uh, fucking, at the end of two, she says, I think I've always she known. She fucking so there you cheated go, on James Franco so hard. She yeah, cheated on James Franco, yeah. Yeah, also, fuck James Franco in this. You knew your boy's into this girl, and you still bang her anyway. Like, fuck James Franco? It's a bitch move. But again, he's just got to this school. Like, he's somehow friends with Peter, but apparently he's just started going there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, a lot of things are rushed through, mm -hmm. including I'm sure costume design where the costume designer was like, and what should Mary Jane wear? And from the back, they were like, no bras. <laughs> and they were like, oh, yeah, no bras. Bras. Yeah, ever. Now granted, this was the time period, but mm -hmm. there was some stuff they put that poor girl in that I'm like, they need to go to the prop department or the wardrobe department. Find that stuff, burn everything burn down. Burn it all. <laughs> burn it all down. The short little fucking. It was the tail end of the 90s, early 2000s. I remember those times. They were the dark period. They were the boot cut. It was times. American Pie times. It was yeah. Hollister. Yeah. It was American Eagle Outfitters. It was it, all sorts of things. Not Shout like, out, though, to James Franco's outfits the entire movie where he just looks like a fucking clown. Like, who the fuck dressed him? And I was like, there has to be some weird thought process behind this. So I was looking into it. There is. Oh, God. Um,. Where is the thing about Thanksgiving? Uh, oh, you're talking about the curb. He was in both their During colors. the Thanksgiving dinner scene, yeah, both Peter Parker and Norman Osborn wore their enemies' costume colors, Peter in green and Norman in red and blue. Harry Osborn, showing his neutrality to that point, being friends with Peter and his father's loyal son, wore both sets of colors, a Don't. green shirt, blue coat, and red tie, and it looked fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, guys, like, guys, 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 the imagery is very deep in this movie. Guys, like. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I read another piece of trivia. Uh, like, I think it was last time when I was watching this, where they were talking about how Leonardo DiCaprio was almost cast, like he was up for the role. What a different movie that would have been yeah. if Leo had been Peter Parker. If he had the cool There's hair. no way for him not to be charming. That would have been amazing. And Leo would have pulled off Ultimate Spider-Man super well with the, the bangs going yeah. on. I would have been into that shit. There was also a lot of things for uh, Mary Jane. Mena Suvari, Elijah Cuthbert, and Eliza Dushku. Oh, God. All auditioned for the role of Mary Jane. In fact, during Tobey Maguire's screen test, uh, Eliza Dushku was the actress playing... Against him, I love her. Man, that's total. Like that's such that era, the Bring It On American I, Pie era. I will say this. Give him all yeah. a shot. <laughs> let's, let's let's just recast it from the Bring It On cast. <laughs> I will say this. I had and probably still have, if I'm being 100 percent honest, uh, a Kirsten Dunst crush. Oh, she's a cute. I was. A, yeah. I had a huge cute. crush on her. Back oh my then. god, you know who would have if they would have cast Elijah uh, uh, Elijah Dushku, Dushku, Dushku oh. as Mary Jane? The other dude in Bring It On would have been a great Peter Parker, dude. Yeah. It's the true. punk rocker yeah, guy, he right. would have been an awesome ass Peter Parker. And Holy here's the shit. thing too, watching this, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody at the table, watching this and being like, man, everybody looks so old. Kirsten Dunst was the one where I was like, man, you were so young. Yeah, she was. I, and I don't. Interesting. I don't, yeah, I don't. I, I could she, be wrong, but to me, I was like, oh man, you I, you look very similar to what I remember the time of Bring It On and all these other like young movies where I think of you being young. Well, I just, it's also because she was standing Jenna. next to Joe Man Manglano <laughs> Ganola, sure. who's 87 years old. He's like fucking shaving it between takes. Yeah, he's he's literally trying to grow in. His fucking <laughs> fish on oh, God, that was fucking awful. <laughs> I just watched Interview with a Vampire. Too so sorry. I was like, oh man, she looks like she's 20. And she was in fact 20 at the time of the filming. Yeah. There you go. In Interview with a Vampire? No. Oh. In Spider-Man. I was like, damn, they really played. She, she, was, yeah. too, like, she was 20 years old How old was the time of the filming. He was 27. Yeah, that wasn't a Joke. Legit, yeah, he was legit 27. He was 27. 27. Don't care. Like, yeah. I how old was Tom Holland for context? I think he's 20. I think yeah, he just so when he no, played, he just turned 20? 21. He so just when he played Spider when he when they filmed Homecoming, he was, he was in super teens young. Still. He was super young. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. We, that can sense. we just accept that we can get actors to play the right age? He's 22 yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. Now we can. But he looks then 16. Could. No. Yeah. Then for whatever reason, we we're like. Surely you can't cast anyone a, a, an 18 year old to play this role. Well, that would be absurd. For the we role. have to go at least 35 with Joe Magano. <laughs> Do you understand that they have to play high school and college? It's Come so on. impossible. <laughs> have you seen a college student right now? They all look like 50. <laughs> <laughs> so also, shout out to Willem Dafoe for being young in this movie because Willem Dafoe is one of those guys that look at him just like you've always, always looked like old. that. Yeah. And I look at this, I'm like, no, I'm all right. I just watched Florida Project a couple months ah, yeah, ago. I was like, oh yeah, all right, really cool. Good yeah, I don't, I don't think he looks young in this at all. I mean, compared to Florida Project, yeah, he yeah. does. We totally derailed Greg. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> no, we're, no, we're keeping it loose. Don't worry yeah, about it. So they get to the fucking th again. We're moving at a clip, everybody. Ooh, Guess go. what? He's on the bus, and he don't. If somebody told you something about a story, whatever. We go straight to the field trip, straight to the fucking world's largest Water electron design. microscope. Uh, Harry doesn't want to be dropped off outside in the rolls. Yells at his dad. Dad gets out anyway. Want you be doing this? Gives him a backpack, and then we have a little thing between him and Peter. He immediately has a hard on for Peter. Very clear that his son Harry sucks. Peter is awesome, just like we all know. Doesn't matter. 
goes inside. They keep bumping him around. He's doing the photos. I finally gets Mary Jane alone again. A weird thing. It just so has weird. been a weird thing. And then he could take photos of her. Yeah. Photo for the school paper. Yeah, but then Harry it's fucking that that happened. Yeah. Did you gonna go talk to her? You clearly have been in love with her forever. And as apparently your de facto best friend, I know this about you. No. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go talk to her then. And I'm gonna <laughs> say all up. the things you told I'm me. I'm gonna steal all your shit. What a fucking piece of shit. I'd have killed his dad, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, I, 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 I didn't feel like that was over the line because Harry gives the look uh, yeah. like this. Like, he, yeah. you know what I mean? You were going to take the plunge. I'll take yep. the plunge. Because Harry is brand new. Harry has never had a conversation with her, we assume. You know what I mean? Or tried. Peter's well, had yeah. how many years? Fuck him. Yeah. No, I mean, Peter, look, it, I'm not saying that Peter's right for, for not having stepped up. But knowing that your boy is into this girl has like, this is like the love of his life. And then you use his words to go woo her. That's a fucking kick in the hey, sack right there. That's, all that's a that's ball all sack yeah. kick right there. Also, yeah, yeah. we got it. We're getting the tours being led by this uh, scientist woman who I think is in everything. Yeah, mm. this woman I've seen. I've seen since this movie. Before this movie, mm. I've seen fucking Charlie Chaplin film. This woman is in everything. Is like a bit player. She's the Stanley of movies. <laughs> Steven uh, Toblerowski or whatever is fucking in every movie ever known to man. They, they've been making all these genetic super spiders because this is a great idea. A uh, fun way of them just introducing all the different spider powers and how they've combined I all enjoyed it. In. So on the nose, but fuck it. Fuck yeah, it, whatever. Why yeah, yeah, but whatever. I actually like that they, they explain like this spider has so yep. like, fast reflexes that it borders on like precognosis or precognition, precognition. rather. Yeah. I thought that was cool. I was like, oh, spider sense. Spider yeah. Someone say it's a spider sense of sorts. I'm like, no, they wouldn't say that, but that's okay. But, you know, what cool, a weird cute, way to call it. That's weird, but okay. Speaking of the spiders, though, uh, they literally held spider auditions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Director what? Sam Raimi wanted the perfect spider for the moment where Peter Parker receives the initial bite, but the spider that most resembled Raimi's vision was a black widow. It would obviously be too dangerous to use a real black widow, so entomologist Stephen Kutcher brought in spiders to audition for Raimi. There was just one problem. The color. The solution? Makeup. You're kidding me. I love this. CGI wasn't up to snuff then, so they went Rocky Horror on the spider instead, painting it with red and blue accents. Oh, wow. I wow. would have sworn it was CGI. I was wondering I it was why That's it, crazy. I was wondering why it looked so good. Because I for a second, I was like, wow, the CG is incredible here. Holy they shit. They really got that. Yeah. I mean, hey, that's, that's a good, awesome. That's a good solution. That spider... Totally died two days later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't cover spider yeah, yeah, yeah. in no. inhaled all the fumes. <laughs> That's fair. He's that just like, whatever. I got, I got They use nail polish for sure. Like, it's Yeah, that dead. thing was shiny. Yeah. That thing was shiny as fuck. It bites Peter. Oh, he tosses it on the ground and crawls under the wheel. Oh, no. What's going to happen? <laughs> Greg, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you got bit by a spider. <laughs> yeah. And then you look down at your hand. And I had a fucking <laughs> testicle grown out you of it. Had, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> you had a golf ball size boil yeah. growing yeah. out of your hand. Yeah. Would you just go I home would tell and pass somebody. Out. I would tell somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like it's probably your kids are reaction. dumb. Kids are dumb, sure. Yeah. But like, yeah, I would draw the line somewhere in there that I probably <laughs> need to talk to an adult. That's <laughs> something you hand up it's a cabbage patch kid hand. Wrong with my fucking hand. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I think right. it was just fear. I think if I were to get to have gotten bitten, I'd be too scared to know the truth of what might happen. Like I'd, I'd rather just die than be told, hey, you're probably going to die. You 100%. know what I mean? 100%. Kevin gets it. Like, it's hey, a lab hey, thing. It's uh, not a big deal. We're in a lab with these genetically altered spiders, and there's a bunch of scientists that are professionals and know about these genetically altered spiders, and one of the spiders just bit me. Maybe I'd walk over to the girl that's bitten everything and be like, hey, does this look okay to you? I'm yeah, going to die. He, also, he, Mary he Jane no calling idea. out that there was only 14, kind of dumb. Was I, it? I, I just didn't, I, like... You'd think they'd go into like shutdown mode if one of them's gone. Nah, well, she's she's doing doing yeah, yeah, somebody's yeah. experimenting on it. There's 15 and spiders. There's only 14. One's missing. Well, no, 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 no student says also, that. Also, <laughs> the, the, the scientist is like, okay, everyone, hang tight for a second. He just runs. Slides out of the door. <laughs> they pull on the yeah. entire. <laughs> 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 uh, while they were there, uh, the one and only Norman Osborn went to work at Oscorp, a place named after him, don't you know? When they get there, they he, we come in and there's a bunch of generals there getting in board of directors getting a fucking tour of what's going on. And it's, the glider's going and they have these wraparound sunglasses on this poor fucking shaved head guy. Like I don't yeah, know, that's fucking, what was it? <laughs> yeah, all right, cool, whatever, dude. Just like, hey, we need a generic avatar to drive this. Like, yeah. just, just put him on there so he has nothing. Create a player. Uh, they have a fucking little bitch doctor there too. I forget the guy's name, but he's like not into it. Uh, Osborne shows up. They clearly don't like Osborne. Everybody talking to him. 
Uh, finally, like, yeah, we had a, you know, we had one rat go fucking crazy. What should we do to the one doctor nobody likes? We should take it back to formula. Back to formula. And then, like, like listen here, we fucking hate you. And Quest Aerospace is doing some cool shit. And if you can't get this working in uh, what two weeks is it? A week. Uh, we're gonna fucking can the operation. And then that'll pretty much put you out of business. Is Quest like, Aerospace the thing? I think it's Johnny Quest. I think they were trying to build the Johnny Quest Peter Parker universe. Interesting. Potentially. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I didn't recognize Yeah, it no, all. I didn't ring any bells in my book. No, I don't know anything. Yet. I assume they wanted to say Stark, but couldn't for legal purposes, so. Probably. They, re- they referenced Doctor Strange at some point. Did they? Maybe it's in Spider-Man 2, but they do. Okay. They didn't in this movie that I noticed. They referenced Superman and Julia Roberts a lot in this movie, though. Yeah, Did hell you, yeah. You don't uh, we though. jump off of there. Peter Julia comes Roberts home. Or not yet. Yeah, Aunt, Aunt, Aunt May, Uncle Ben bumming around. I'm on my ass, man. I'm 65. The plant laid off their electrician. <laughs> Nobody cares, and they make way too much breakfast sausages the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> Start fucking cutting corners, Aunt yeah, May. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you should be a little more worried about your cholesterol level than your fucking <laughs> There's three of level. you. Ben's already <laughs> eating. You call the fucking mountain sausage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Peter comes home. He's fucking tired. He goes to bed where he starts having fucking nightmares with the flashing where, where the spiders are being interposed over his face. He comes up and yeah, sure enough, testicle with a little vampire bite on it growing on his hand. Why not tell anybody? Who knows? Back to Oscorp. They're like, we got to fucking do it. And he's like, uh, for a thousand years, we only barely tapped to what's happened to human evolution. Drink things, spikes it on the ground. Yeah. This will be a running theme throughout it that Willem Dafoe hates glass things. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what I think right now. They just finished a discussion of how they were like, we're almost broke. We got to cut corners. And Willem Dafoe's like, cool, but we're sure not cutting corners with the housekeeping staff. Bam, yeah. just fucking <laughs> makes a mess for yeah, no reason. You gotta clean that up. I'm like, hey, who the fuck's gonna clean that up? If exactly. I was a doctor, I'm, like, I'm not cleaning that up. He's also I'm like, not cleaning he's that like up. you know, risks are happening all the time in laboratories. I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah, isn't they that, really isn't don't. Isn't the scientific we, uh, method all about not scientists. doing that? Like, this is a terrible idea. He, and he's only somewhat of a scientist or whatever, right? Anyways, he gets on the fucking thing and they put it on. He's like, oh, badass. And oh, it's cold. Yeah. Like, but I love most about this. What the fuck was that? He's showing he's a little bitch. Norman's a little bitch. Because to me, it felt like they just like shot that and that was like Wilbur Defoe's actual reaction and they just left it in. Accidentally, which, which, which part? The person oh. editing for God touches him and he goes, "It's cold." Oh, oh it's cold. He's this well, fucking badass, and all of a sudden he's like, "Who?" What's amazing is he gets in the thing. The thing has this amazingly long, ornate, like strap, 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 right, and like pulls him into this cage and shuts the door. And then after all this shit goes crazy, the doctor just runs over to the other door and opens it up and walks into the thing. I'm like, why didn't you just fucking walk into the thing? Why do you gotta go to the table thing? Like, why is the, uh, they like, put the you got, this? Like, this is what I'm saying. If I were the auditor that came to this company, I'd be like, first off, you don't need a fucking mechanical table that goes into this thing. You got a fucking door right there. Just stop it. Okay, we're cutting corners here. You're fired. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Norman gets the green gas. He does a cool, he well, not cool for a while, lame seizure. And then when they cut in for the close up, he's got the white eyes. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that's fucking cool. All right, cool. Uh, lame ass doctor runs back. And, oh, I'm sniffling, bitch. And he starts fucking doing compressions on Norman. Norman's heart rate comes back 200 fucking thousand per minute. <laughs> <laughs> Goes from de- nothing to bad. Crash zooms back into and formula, that. throws him through the fucking window, and then just does it. The most badass mo- part of the movie. Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> what? And that's when we're all like, oh, Whoa, fuck, oh shit. Yeah. New York's got problems are coming. Yeah. What a ter- and every shot has that smash zoom. Every Just the one. two heartbeat, his face, the doctor's eyes, everything. He jumps into the thing. Sm- oh, God, what a terrible. Well, how cheesy can you get? So it was cheesy. bad. So the next day at school time, Peter, com- or P- Peter gets woken up. He's got the, he doesn't need the glasses. He's got fucking abs. Jacked. Got the maps. Uh, give it oh. to me. Were jacked? they born? Born in labs. Now it's time to rank those abs. Not that great. I'll what? Be what? He looked okay. He skinny abs. We already talked about this. With he, but he does that thing where he flexes in the mirror and he's actually got them. But like, he's, he's, no, he he's got good he, pecs. He, he he's here, here, here's the he's deal. fit. If he's you want to rank fit. high on the abs list, yeah. you got to do years and years of supplements. And by supplements, but this is I before mean, we knew what those were. This was 1982. We didn't know what they were yet. We knew what they were. We came straight out of the Mr. Olympia era. We knew what they were. He could have got more jacked. For that. Okay. I'm just saying, what he's about, up there, but not do, great. do you want to talk about Willem Dafoe? We get him shirtless for a second. Then Again, too. just skinny. Skinny abs don't count. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got to be jacked abs. Okay. Jacked abs. Okay. And if you're skinny abs, they need to be doing something special they like Paul Rudd. Cut up. Doing With Tom Holland, we didn't count his abs because they were skinny abs too, right? Yeah, because yeah. it takes yeah. less effort. A lot of people said, uh, they, they tweeted at me though, they were like, that's just totally wrong. It's, it seems unfair. It's, hard. it's unfair, but you know what? These are, I don't make the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who doesn't? I don't make the rules. 
<laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, he comes downstairs, does that cool little thing where he runs on the wall. I was yeah. like, that's cool. He's got a lot of energy. Was it cool? Some pep no, in his step. I like it. Cool. It shows what? he's feeling good. Yeah. He's high energy, dude. It's so fucking like weird. We've all wear. done that and felt like Spider Man. He feels like a robot where they're trying to, you know what I mean? Where they're trying to explain to him what a human being does, and he's like, okay. <laughs> and then I run up wall, and they're like, no, okay, you know what? Just keep it in. We got to move on. We got to move on. And we on. get a nice little glimpse at his relationship with Uncle Ben. <laughs> Michelangelo will paint the kitchen. <laughs> all right, don't start with me. Don't you start up with me. And like, they're waking point at each other. Jesus. To walk out of that. Such like Americana bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, but again, to what the theory on Reddit was saying, I, it does feel and it plays like the old, like, Amazing Fantasy 15. Like, the uh, problem like, with that is. I feel like it's really picking and choosing sure, to, I agree. to make it like, I agree. like, yeah, when you look at it in broad strokes, sure, but that's not what this movie is. Sure. Not at all. Again, this is where there's too much breakfast sausage, but I digress. Uh, Peter leaves. He's going to walk out there. Guess what? He see, what, what? What? What's happening next door? Mr. Watson, piece of shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piece of shit garbage. Has. Mr. Watson, who's only five years older than Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the Andy fuck Lee's is with the water. casting in this? Hey, man, they, they need thespians, all right? Yeah, so. He's screaming. At Mary Jane, she walks down the street. She's crying. Peter falls creepily behind, or fo- follows creepily behind. How long so, do you think mm. he was following her for? Oh, d- uh, miles. Yeah, right. That's what I thought too. They, they walked out of it like stops far away. It, it was but, weird how far they walked, and then she got picked up. Like, yeah. What was the plan? Well, I think there? her friends. Just I think she was to going by. to the bus. They yeah. were both going to the bus it. stop, and then the friends drove by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I and think the, the bus stop was where she stopped at. When her friends came by, I think so, yeah. and he was still fifty feet away, because for whatever reason he was like, "I got to keep this distance." Well, I don't want to think he's having out. a conversation in his Crippling head. Crippling fear of talking to the. And then sex. guess what? The bus barrels on through. Oh my god! Now Spider Man's running. He's running a lot better than before. And he starts banging on the bus. He gets stuck to his hand. What the fuck's happening to me? I'm I'm, I'm I don't know, but I'm Spider Man. Now we jump back to Osborne's mansion. Uh, Harry finds uh, fucking his dad dead in front of the fucking uh, uh, desk. Wakes him up and like, what happened last night? I can't remember and all these weird little flashes and shit because we don't is Norman good is he bad who knows no who knows it's pretty clear it's pretty clear that Norman at no point in this movie was good that's not whether, true. Whether he's the goblin, no. uh, name one part of this movie that he's not just a total un, un, piece of shit. He, un, he, 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 he was, complimented, yeah, he brought Harry his backpack. He complimented uh, Peter on being a scientist. The, there's a breaking point where he goes from being like just an asshole like person into an actual bad person, and it's when he's having the argument with himself. Uh, I, t- I just where, don't see that at all. Uh, no, he's not the, a good. He's not like a good no, human I'm not being. He, but I'm he's not, not he's evil. Saying, yeah, that's. I'm not saying he's a good human being. I don't hang out with him. The way he treats the scientist. Before he gets goblinized, yeah, he's a the CEO. scientist he's a CEO. fucked him over. Yeah. There was no reason he had to say it was back to formula when one out of fourteen go wrong. Yeah. That's I just don't an like acceptable error. Yeah, no degree of error. Everyone right. voted Literally. yes except this fucker. Yeah. Why, general, are you listening to Doctor Fuckface? Why is Doctor Fuckface Why? even there? Kill Doctor Fuckface. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't care. Norman, do yeah. it, Gary. And I think that like there was a split personality thing. And he didn't have I, full reclina- uh, rec- le- rec- reclamation? Reclamation? Recollection. Recollection. Recollection yeah. of actually killing Dr. I think, Fuckface. I, yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. And I also, for, for real, just to dial it back to reality and stop joking around, I don't think he was a bad guy. I, I think yeah. that he, it's a very, I think it's, you, he has an annoying guy at work, not let alone the, if we sold the fucking company and somehow got into medical tech <laughs> and we had, we had a, you know, a fucking board of directors and it literally was like, they walked in and we're like, listen, all six of us totally agree with this decision and Joey's the holdout and, jo- and, they're, and, they're and they were like, Joey, Joey the the me, the fucking guy who made all this shit happen for you kids. And you're like, what do you think, Joey? Joey's like, I think we got to take it back, back to, to formula. formula. I'd be like, back to formula. I got to kill Joey. <laughs> He's such Joey. a dick. The, like, he, the way he treats Harry the entire time. But Harry's like, a Harry's fucking a disappointment. Kid. He's a doing. He's doing drugs. Harry got kicked Y'all out of terrific. every private school. Harry's Harry's terrible. He's going to a public school also because they won't take also, him anywhere else. Yeah, the he, like, di- easily will fuck your girlfriend. Like, the he biggest hundred percent. He's gonna fuck your girlfriend as Norman. Before he goes completely psychotic and has like the well, I guess even after the breakdown, the the dickest thing he does is where when he's like to to uh, James Franco when he's just like I've been proven wrong. It's not the first time I've been proven wrong. It's like, oh, that's kind of not the cool thing to say at graduation. But again, your son's a shitbag. Yeah, shitbag. Your son been just jacking off all over private schools. That's why all I, I assume he got thrown out. You 100%. Know what I mean? Just hosing those fucking private There wasn't private a chance that down. Norman Osborn was not the bad guy of this movie. Of not a fucking well, chance. Well, no, I mean he's so nice to Peter exactly. the entire time to a dick extent. <laughs> 
What? It doesn't no. matter. Let's keep going. It's all to make Harry feel bad. No, it's not. Because Harry it's sucks. Because, it's because Peter's not a fucking disappointment. Yeah, exactly. And Harry yeah. is. You don't know. You don't have kids. Yeah, yeah you, you have, have no kids. idea what this is like. You He's don't. got Thomas. I've dog. got Portillo. You're an idiot. It's true. Nah, we love you. Ah, uh, I don't remember. Okay, the fucking bitch ass doctor who voted against you is dead. Oh no! All right, everybody go to school. They go to school, and yeah, Spider Man's there. His name's Peter Parker, and he's all like, "Man, I feel better and weird and stuff." And I stuck to the fucking bus. That was weird. And was then, there, was, by the way, is there is there no law at all in this city? Are there no people that are like, we're investigating this doctor's murder, and clearly you were the last person in the lab with him? No, you're thinking about like now, where everyone's got key cards cameras and, scans, and stuff. Yeah, cameras. this was back in 2002. No, no, yeah, yeah. They, they, have, they, the they have those little yeah. Nokia phones. Yeah. They, they, the they didn't have the cameras, but they had gliding. Uh, <laughs> they had gliders. Dude, they had gliders. How sick and is that glider? Grenades that, that disintegrate can be with hey, a hey, random hey, button that doesn't do anything on your wrist. He just hits the button, and the thing knows exactly what to do. It's weird that it was soft when he hit it. You know, when he pressed it, it was like that's not bad. God. How did someone see that costume and put it next to the coat? Which, by the way, I like the Spider-Man costume in this. I saw this when I was a kid. When I was 22, I guess, not a kid. But I was like, that's cool. It looks good. Then you see Goblin, for, you're for like, what we had, yeah. what's I, going on with the uh, bike helmet that he's I wearing? I like Green Goblin. Time? I just don't like the helmet. I think if they had gone with the, the... The mandible stuff? The actual, like, animatronic mandible. mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks really cool. But how do you justify that it? That like, shit was weird. <laughs> yeah. How do you justify it? <laughs> <laughs> Incredible Hulk, you know what I mean? Maybe he just changed into the Goblin. That's how I would have done it. Oh, um, like um, yeah. Um, huh. thank you. Um, Peter uh, accidentally. Or no, so it's that uh, he's sitting there being like, "Man, I'm fucking. I got hair where hair wasn't there before." And uh, Mary Jane walks in, drops all the stuff. Uh, she, she trips and she her drops her tray, and Peter catches all the food. The scene where Peter Parker catches Mary Jane's lunch in the tray involved no CGI. With the help of an adhesive to keep the tray stuck to his hand, Tobey Maguire eventually, after many takes, performed the stunt as seen on screen. God damn! I, I, want, I knew that. Shout out to him. Shit. I knew that, and I wanted to see if you had it on there. Holy like, shit! When I watch it, and I, ne- I, did, I did not know that until you, and I think before this viewing, like uh, you know, months ago, saw it somewhere on Reddit probably, and saw and saw watching it again, like. Like, I'm like, a guy, I can only imagine the, uh, we finally did it, and then don't fuck up the line, don't fuck up yeah. the line, you know what I mean? Let's not have to redo that, but yeah, power to uh, Imagine she, some PA on a ladder holding these four things, being yeah, like, yeah. all right, ready? And yeah, nice reflexes, and Peter can't talk to her. Uh, she Which leaves. I thought was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Wow, you have blue eyes. I never noticed that. In the 17 years, we've been living next door to each other. He had glasses on, dummy. Just like uh, she's all that. And, and then it, she has let a line eyes. that doesn't I, even fucking make sense. No, no idea what, color I don't know what it was. But like she said something about looking at his eyes. And like I, I didn't. Oh, I because didn't, you're wearing glasses. Like, yeah, I couldn't see through the glasses. <laughs> so, but, she was like, "Did you just get contacts?" And he just smiled. <laughs> like, like this whole time, I thought Greg had purple eyes. That's true. Yeah. But it's because true. you Greg took glasses, glasses off. off. Yeah, brown. Crazy. Whoa. No, they're hazel. Are they? Okay, well, I can't see shit. Yeah, yeah, they're hazel. Brown. Yeah, just like your hair is not black. Okay. I mean. Some black. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, not you. Know, the, black, the black hair thing really pisses me off when Andy <laughs> says this. <laughs> it's not black hair. It really makes You're me angry. Hair. It's not black hair. It's so black. No, it's not black. It's impossibly black. <laughs> it's, it's dark. It's dark. Uh, I'm he's glad got they're a, on my side on this now. Guess what? He's got a fork stuck to his wrist. What's this all about? Pulls it out. There's webbing. Then he does. shoots the webbing out, grabs the tray. Nobody notices. Th- pulls it back, dodges it, hits Flash, drags it out, hits the thing. This is a big deal, of course. Organic webbing. This is the first time this has happened. I hate like, it. You know what I mean? I Still fucking love it. it. I love Always be a fan of organic. Why webbing. doesn't it run out? That's not how it works. Let me ask you how this question. How much spit you Kevin. got? Spit. Yeah. You never Eventually run out of spit. You'll run how out of spit. T- you'll how dehydrate. many times in one day have you masturbated? There you go. Does it ever stop coming lot. out? You're right. You know what I mean? Does it ever <laughs> stop coming out? But it out? didn't come out in that amount, yeah. Nick. I don't like the, the <laughs> face you're making. I don't like this at all. It hurts and it hurts and it hurts and it keeps on it hurting, but, hurt, but it, it keeps, keeps going, going up. Man. Especially when you see cranes. There's cranes everywhere in this movie and they just get me <laughs> fucking Spider-Man. going. I hate the organic thing. It is dumb that like when he became Spider-Man, he got a sense for like what the chemicals to mix, which is I think okay. how the, that yeah, that's how the old cartoon show explained it. Mm. He was just like, oh... After it happened, I just kind of felt it. 
I don't buy it. Increased intelligence. I, I personally always liked organic webbing. I remember being like, what the fuck? And then like, oh, I guess that makes a lot of sense. He has all these other abilities, but not that. Yeah, yeah. Right. that makes sense to me too. And then I, I, and I, oh, and that, in the old games, I always hated, scar. in the old games, I always hated the Reloading. fucking having to go find web cartridges or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so that is what he's got. He goes in and fights Joe Magniello, the, as you know, Deathstroke from the <laughs> DCEU. Everybody gets stoked for the Batman. It is coming soon. Matt Reeves, Ben Affleck, and Joe Magniello. Save it. Save it. Uh, <laughs> we get to see Peter's enhanced powers. Now, literally, I understand these kids are all fucking stupid, but anybody watching any of these days' events in six months when Spider Man's swinging around, like, that's Peter Parker. Yeah. I just saw, I saw Peter yep. Parker do not one, but 15 backflips. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, what was that? Like, why? Like, that we, was yeah. a bit he much. He could have just flipped once. Also, he could have jumped over it. I, I just think I remember uh, seeing Peter Parker walk dragging away, a dragging tray. a fucking tray with web <laughs> coming out of his arm. Exactly. Uh, he, he punches him in the chest. He falls down. Yeah, and then he runs away. And he, he runs. doesn't fall down. He fall, flies 15 feet. <gasps> Jesus, you really are well, freak Pete. And freak then everyone Pete. picks on him for being strong. Yeah. What? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> he just owned this fucking guy. Yeah, it's and like, no, like, take oh, the beating. Still funny. Yeah. I'm like, oh, awesome. I just crushed crushed everyone crushed there. his sternum. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Peter Parker, at that point, <laughs> I would have <laughs> just, I would have just. Web the doors, lit the place on fire. Yeah. Although I do like, I do like the fact that they do play up the, like, I got a lot more out of this uh, the first this time around watching it than the first time, which is that he was he actually was pretty close to being like like going bad. Did you guys get that feeling? No. Like I when did we not. get to the I wrestling thing that. and we see him to fucking uh, talk shit to that guy, you get the feeling like maybe he actually was dipping into like not knowing what he was gonna do with this, and then when Uncle Ben dies, he's like, "Oh shit, I should." I, okay, great no, responsibility, that. all that stuff. Really, I just got it. I don't know he if was, was being an angsty shit te- teen or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if it was bad. I think it was more of like edgy, cool. I so think like, it's just all, like one bad day away I, from being like, "I'm robbing a fucking." Bank. It seemed like it was the thing that always is is just like, man, I have these powers, so I'm gonna use them for personal gain to begin with yeah. until mm-hmm. Ben dies, mm-hmm. and then great power, great responsibility. He's got to roll him. Um, yeah, so he runs away, eventually gets to a brick wall, and he's like, you know what? Looks at his fingers, microscopic little thorns come out. And you're like, oh, that's how it would work. Neat. And then he mimes up it. Then he starts crawling up the wall. Hey, man, you know what? There, Sam Raimi's just rolling the camera going, act. Act Go like on. Spider-Man would on this wall. And he goes, the first of many. Woo-hoo! He's very excited. I like and, it. There's a lot of fun in sure. that. Sure. You know? And then he's then, he, then then we get some really bad CG of him running and just doing jumps on roofs and running over. People. Honestly, the CG not nearly as going into this. I thought Green Goblin was going to be the like zero out of ten, and I thought that the CG was going to be like the most atrocious thing. Way better than X Men, mm-hmm. I would say. Way oh, oh, sure, way okay, yeah, yeah. And I think that, like, even like the more not the most modern, but like the X Men trilogy, even getting into like Last Stand territory, it's like yes, it was fake. It was obviously fake, but. The wire work was a lot better. I, Maybe less used, but uh, I don't know, man. The the night scene after the wrestling oh, thing where he's God. climbing on the walls. Yeah. That As is that the, with the red mask. On. Yes. See, that, I like that more than I like to him running on the rooftops. And I just was Peter. like Peter. laughing to myself. I was watching it alone. <laughs> I was like, this is so terrible. It looks like a PS2 cutscene, man. That, that's the limitation of the time, 2002, man. Like they, you know. Like it's it like, was, like remember just, when uh, Wolverine spins around the that's what it reminded me of. It, but like that's it was around that same yeah. era. It looked hey, terrible. Anyway, so you can call, oh, special effects thing uh, that I didn't know. John Dykstra. Yeah, Chloe's dad. Mm-hmm. Chloe Dykstra's, Dykstra's dad did huh. the special effects. He was one of the original founders of ILM. Yeah, Chloe's uh, dad's a huge effects. deal. And yeah, huge. and like. Didn't realize this. Yeah. Well known for the special effects lead on the original Star Wars, helping <laughs> bring the original yeah, visuals for lightsabers, space battles between X-Wings and TIE Fighters, and force powers to the screen. He also led special effects on many other movies. Now this list is very important. We got Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, mm-hmm. X-Men First Class, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and most importantly, Stuart Little. Yeah, sure. Oh, I didn't well, see that one coming. Stuart Little when, when it came when out. He pointed at us. Yeah, I thought that was, was going to be something we cared about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuart Little. Stuart Little. Stuart Little. Do you know who wrote it? I never watched it. Michael J. Fox. Uh, Martin Short. M. Night Shyamalan. No, that's yeah. made up. That's true. No, true. What's, that's the twist? what's the twist? He's not, is, he's not really a mouse. He's not really a mouse. He's a kid. That was before those days. He thinks he's his own mouse. So, yeah, he's doing it. We get the fun scene of him trying to figure out how to make his webs go. We get the up, up, and the way. Was that fun? Shazam. At the time, it was. At the time, it was. Now, it is. Trash. Well, it's just like, and he does like this, like the rock thing over and over again. Like, hey, man. It's just, it's so weird that he decided, all right, I'm on the top of this thing. I have to shout something to get this to go, even though when it went by itself on He's accident, I didn't shout anything. 27 year old movie kid. doesn't know what tone it. Fucking it's, yeah, was. it's, but it's also really weird that they chose to actually bring in like Superman as an element. Superman. 
and I'll, and some of the D, the other DC stuff, which shows just a complete and total lack of like give a fuck for setting up any universe. Obviously, they weren't trying to do that, but yeah. it's weird that they they one of the biggest uh, things that I couldn't stand when I first watched the movie was that they talked about Julia Roberts, and I was like, oh man, that grounds this in reality in a way that I don't want it to be grand, grounded. Marvel's always done that though, have they? Yeah, Marvel's. I mean, that's why you're in New York and not Metropolis. No, I guess it's a good point. That's the whole point of it. Remember yeah. Why why they succeed and click with so many people uh we webbing we're webbing around we swing into the wall uh, ha, 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 ha. what was his plan there he didn't have a plan he was just trying just to learn yeah. how trying to be spiky, man. Just trying to be spiky. he saw a crane and man, he got him fucking going as because cranes will forever and always be very important to spider-man spider-man oh, i see that's, that crane that's with enough, those curves. that's enough look how tall that one is i, nick, I need you to back down nick, nick i need you to back down sharp lines You're going too hard being spidey out there just spiting it up and eventually he's like well i better fucking go home because it's dark and guess what michelangelo to spaced on painting uncle ben painted the whole thing of course uncle ben got no fucking job Don't. maybe this isn't the time to redesign the kitchen maybe this is where you bust your old man ass out onto the streets and work at mcdonald's why so guard. many sausages Paint isn't free either we need another stop. paycheck uncle stop uncle ben also they turned the fucking paint from like an orange to like a shitty green color and they're like old, so many they're old people. Back people. then, that was really popular in kitchens. Yeah, maybe. He gets some pot roast out of the oven, we assume, no, and eats it, and then he takes the trash out back, where guess what? Mr. Watson, again, being a shitbag person, just screaming at MJ's mom, screaming Is at MJ. Is that even necessary? Yeah, we got to set up that he's bad. they're bad people. Over there. But, like, do we? Yeah, well, yeah she closer. hates her life and wants to leave to go to New York. Because then it also, yeah, it also make, is a big deal when it, MJ comes out and they start talking that Peter's the only one who believes in her. You're gonna lie to Broadway. I, I just feel you like you can see it. I it, like this scene it, between them. It's yes, but you. take away all of the domestic abuse and just I want to be an actress, so I'm gonna go to New York where people act. Tim, sure, you don't but understand like, how motivation works. Exactly. Well, she clear, she's had two parents who don't listen and shit on her all the time. She's only been known as arm candy to Flash Gordon or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's got a fucking. No one's ever cared about her. No one that's listens why, to that's her. That's why it was always Pete listens Pete. to her. You know, what that's I mean? why it was yeah. always always Pete. Pete. Always Pete. Always Pete. But the also, name of I read that Flash scene is she wanted to become a very very That's famous actress so she can make lots of money and have her parents What's killed. his nickname? Exactly. Mm. Have him off. Mm. While this conversation, no, this, I think this lovely name. conversation's happening. I, this is one of the few times in this movie where I'm like, they actually have some chemistry. I appreciate them talking. Except for when he gets really doe-eyed at the whole, like, mm, I cried. It was first grade, Peter. That was a funny uh, little whatever, moment. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But yeah. again, one of those things is like, I've known you forever. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, met exactly. me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, weird. Yeah, weird. Yeah, weird. And then, it, yeah. You're taller than you're tall. I slouch. Don't. Like, yeah, that's cute. And then guess what? Flash Thompson's back. Oh my god. Oh, what a cute Check car. Check out my fucking PT car. Cruiser. <laughs> that's what it was, right? Yeah. It was a PT what Cruiser. the fuck? fuck what, man. what a time to be alive. They must have paid so much. Uh, she's like, it's really cool. I'm like, no. No, that was a Plymouth no. Prowler. Is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, Flash uh, Thompson, of course. A lot cooler than Remember, the PT hours uh, before, had been punched in the chest and knocked down. Mm -hmm. Sees Peter Parker at the end of his alley and gives no nothing. Not a sorry or what the fuck, bro. Just totally fuck that. He learned his fucking yeah. lesson. I'm not going. He to is again. never talking, talking to him Peter. again. I threw yeah. a punch at that guy. Yeah. He did 87 backflips. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not. What a freak. What's up, Pete? You want 20 bucks? And so, <laughs> like, just yeah, MJ gets in the car and again showing how little <laughs> she means. Just don't scratch the leather. Wash the leather. Fuck you, Flash. But it gives Peter the idea. You know what chicks dig? You know what MJ digs? Cars. Cars. Gets the newspaper because this movie's old. It starts looking through the cars and there. And we're getting a lot of fucking. These I don't know what you call them. Montages. Dissolves. Why are we getting so much? No, Whoa, but it's always. No, no. It's not like even that, though. When we get to the Spider Man one, where it's like weird Spider Guy swings, saves robbery. It's just a shot, like an odd <laughs> shot. <laughs> I hate it. McGuire, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in the mask on. Remember it's him? No, it's him I'm aware. Mask, he's like, I know, totally. Wait, <laughs> it's it's montages of newspaper articles, and then it's <laughs> it's Toby McGuire looking up at it as if it's <laughs> as if it's a fucking newscast, and then just be like. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> it just runs off. So bad, dude. I laughed so. so hard. Oh man, it's like, what is this choice, Sam Raimi? Jesus. During that scene when we see the interviews of the different people, uh, where it's like, like they're all talking about Spider Man. Yeah, oh, yeah, Lucy, yeah. Lucy Lawless was the Jim Norton, one of the guys. Yeah. One of the guys. Uh, yeah, Jim Norton. Zena, Warrior. No, she was the eight arms. Was the eight arms? I didn't. I didn't know that, know that either. I didn't, I didn't know that realize either. that. Also, uh, I mean, we're we're gonna get to it, but shout out to Octavia Spencer as being the person who signs him in. <laughs> 
she's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. James oh, Water, all that stuff. She was yeah. Like, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, we look through it. All the cards are real expensive. Then he sees the ad $3,000 for three minutes, right? Yeah, three minutes. Uh, and cool. Now he's going to, first things first, let's design a costume because the colorful characters are a must. And he starts doing all sorts of crazy shit. Then he designs the Spider Man suit pretty Which much out of cool. the gate. Awesome. And then, yeah, he's going to go, uh, he's going to go down and do this thing. All right, great. Also, Peter, aside from being an amazing scientist, is a fucking triple A artist, mm -hmm. right? Like oh, yeah. could have, could be drawing his own comic. Too yeah, as you're well. a concept artist, Peter. Jesus like he's like, Christ. it's like perfect perspective, and the <laughs> and the shading's amazing. You're like, he really did a good job with markers yeah. here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the next morning, it's time to go wrestle or whatever. But we get the quick interstitial that, like, uh, again, you, Kevin brings up the good point of we have no idea how time works. Could have been a month because it is like yeah, six months. It is very much a fucking Uncle Ben being like, well, we don't talk to him, and he's weird now. Like, is he? I think yeah, it just seemed like in the Last the spiders were really, really cool. just learned to yeah. swing around and do shit. You guys done? You done laughing at the the bad mo the bad at? the montage? The montage. Still? Yeah. Most of them? Well, it's because Nick did his impression again. Uh. uh Pete's gonna go to the library. <laughs> Uncle Ben will give him a ride. Gives him the ride. They're ha they drive this entire length of uh, what is I don't, and I don't know. It's Queens, right? Queens mm -hmm. Queens down to Manhattan. That's a hike. And I don't even live in New York, but I know that's a hike. I don't know how far. Apparently, that is. I have no they don't talk at all. Literally, they roll up to the destination of the library, <laughs> the New York Public Library from Ghostbusters. They roll up to the library, and Uncle Ben's like, wait, we need to talk. He's like, what the fuck were you doing in this car this entire time, Uncle Ben? You had him trapped. Now he's there. You fucked up. Peter, being the angsty teen he is, he's there to win money and wrestle, and he's got to get in line and sign in stuff, so he doesn't want to hear it. Uncle Ben's trying to give him this message, thinking it's just about puberty shit. It's not about puberty shit. It's about spider shit, man. He well, can actually, do crazy shit. I do, like, I do like Ben's take here, though, because he's like... Because for when I remember, I remember watching this movie thinking, oh, Ben gave him shit for like, don't get in a fight. You, you know better than that. But the guy's like, I'm sure he deserved it. And I'm glad you won. But you just need to know, like, it sounds like you beat his fucking ass. Which he didn't. Like maybe. <laughs> One punch that broke his chest, probably. Yeah, probably broke his sternum forever. And he can't breathe. But he drove he up drive that his, night. His I mean, PT I don't cruiser. Know. But, like, I actually, I liked the conversation here. It was really just about, like, you got to choose the man you're going to be. Cl going clumsy this. way into it, though, I, I remember. Uh, I was just being like, this is a time when a man becomes the man who'll be the rest of his life. I'm like, there was a better way to phrase and, this. But also, it's just like, the, why are you having the puberty talk yeah, that was with weird. an 18-year-old who's weird. about to graduate high school that also looks like a fucking 35-year-old? <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's more than puberty. It's not strictly like you're getting fucking hair. It is very much like you're... You're gonna sure making decisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, I don't know. Whatever. I, I, for such a pivotal conversation, yeah. it was not good. I thought the whole thing was super corny and like, sure, it just didn't fit. It didn't make any sense contextually with their relationship. Yeah, because they were all everything was great. Up until maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. Him getting shut down by Peter was heartbreaking. Though. Sure, like, yeah, 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 totally. Heartbreaking. Yeah. And I know it's, I'm not your friend. Stop acting like him. But yeah, weird, his, but react, yeah. his reaction was really kudos, good. I like it. Kudos to the amazing acting chops of Tobey Maguire, who shows no emotion the entire time <laughs> until he hears the word father and is incredibly <laughs> triggered by yeah. that. You're not my father. Stop acting like it. And it just runs out of the Gets car. Gets out of the Ben's car like, with his giant kid. brown paper sack full of costume. <laughs> Uncle Ben at no point being like, why don't you need a book bag to go to the library? Why are you bringing this giant brown paper bag? <laughs> <laughs> also, if Uncle Ben had just stayed in his fucking lane, all I'm saying, he'd still be alive today. Peter wanted to take the train. Yeah, no, totally. Leave me alone. I'm fine. Well, well he I wasn't I don't fine. Think you're fine. Yeah, but exactly. would Peter be a superhero? You know? uh, no, I think he'd be probably a lot happier because he'd just be just, winning tournaments all yeah. over the place and making millions of dollars. Well, no, Green Goblin would have carried out his plan to... To do what? To run Oscorp. What was unabated, the plan? <laughs> unabated run Oscorp. Just keep running his company that he's been running for 30 years? Yeah, I like, and he's clearly fucking really rich. Like, whatever, you're selling the company? Great, I'm going to make oh, even dang. more money off of this, yeah. and I'll start a new company where all we make is gliders and bombs that turn you to skeletons. Yeah. Anyways. Peter goes in to wrestle. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Bone saw himself there. Just fucking laying people out. Looking destroying. Fucking looking huge. fucking great. Rest in My peace. God. Looks like a, just a package of beef jerky running totally, around. Totally, yeah. totally. Throwing people Damn, through tables. Anger. The Flying Dutchman. Uh, I love that their directions just be you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's yeah, perfect. Bone saws, Randy. Uh, yeah, we get back there. It's the comedian you were talking about. The woman. No, the lady. Oh, okay. she's not a comedian. No, she's not a comic, but she's an actor. Oh, she's in Shape of Water and like yeah, I know that part has won Academy Award things like that. But it's just weird. It's, you're like, oh shit, 
That's how long you've been on the scene that long. That's yeah. crazy. That's it's awesome to see her. Uh, we get the introduction from uh, Bruce. Uh, you man spider. Yeah, right? the man spider or whatever. That sucks. <laughs> and calls him the amazing spider man. The human Yay. spider. Yeah. The human spider. Yeah, that's right. He said my name wrong. They finally push him out there. We get first person perspective shots of all the ring, uh, not the ring girls, the valets for once uh, again being talking absurdly shit. mean. Yeah, so yeah. mean. The awesome. whole wrestling thing, and I, I know this is a dumb thing to pick <laughs> apart, but it's just like it is. What people think pro wrestling yeah, is, yeah. you're gonna go in there, fucking fight to the death. Like, what the fuck? Not only you're gonna fight to the death, but they have a seventy million dollar cage above the fucking. <laughs> like, this is the most amazing amateur wrestling promotion I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, when you go to uh, yeah. all pro wrestling, do they have that no, giant fucking no. articulating cage? Shout out to the one ECW shirt though behind Octavia Spencer. There's a guy back there in ECW shirt. I remember being pretty you impressed know, about that. That's pretty yeah. okay. That's pretty cool. That's, that's dedication to your craft. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're an extra in this wrestling thing. All right, cool. I'm bringing my ECW shirt. They're probably <laughs> like, well, yeah, we're not gonna get sued for that. No, nobody knows what ECW. Yeah. Uh, he gets in there, beats the shit out of Macho Man. We get the one, uh, the one line that history will not look kindly on. <laughs> yeah. Did your oh, husband man. make it for you? That was that was that came out of nowhere. I was like. Oh yeah, another great that Reddit meme I had seen. It, 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 I told you about it the day yeah. I think I saw it or showed it to you. Just like that's a nice outfit. Did your husband make it? For <laughs> and then it's the cut to Macho Man yelling, and he's like, "He did. We've been together five years. <laughs> History won't look kindly at you, Spider Man." <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was just. A but he beats bad the line. shit out of Macho Man. Yay! Line. We see some kicks and some jumps, and he's sticking to walls and shit. Very. I still don't like that he sticks to the cage with his, with his arms, his, his arms out, and the shoes. It was his hands wide open. Just grab the bar, Spider Man. Just grab the bars. We get You're it. Strong he got enough. sticky fingers. I will, I will say, it was the palm. Yeah, I will say. I remember and it was also sticky. No, uh, the choreography in this was a lot better than I remember mm -hmm. it being. It's not as good. Like I, when we get to Amazing Spider Man, it's when they really kind of figured out that Spider Man should be fluid all mm -hmm. the time and yeah. be, and they really focus a lot more on the choreography. But it was Lippity fun in this. Yeah, it I thought cool. this I thought yeah, yeah, yeah. was actually kind of fun. It ended really anticlimactic. Well, like, really? Yeah. Kicking him the over kick over to again. the wall, and then it's like, is oh, it over? He moves in his head. He <laughs> like breaks the goddamn fence and yeah. like falls over. No, no but it's just man very paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Son's dead. I feel like it happened way too quick. Yeah, and then Someone help him. the rock music plays, and then it's like it's over. I was like, oh, okay, that was. Well, he wasn't getting out. Oh, it was two minutes. Was rap, they had to end it quickly. I got you for three minutes. Nope. I got you for three minutes of playtime. <laughs> uh, yay! Congratulations. He goes back to get his payment. Dick, uh, wrestling promoter guy, wants to give him a hundred bucks. That's not enough. You didn't make it three minutes. That was the deal. Webhead, get out of here. Nice use of webhead. Mm -hmm. uh, he leaves. Guy comes in, robs him. Peter doesn't stop him. You could have taken that. You could have taken that guy apart. I missed the part where this is my problem. Nailed it. And you feel good for Peter in yeah. that moment. Yeah. Like, that was I a good get. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. wanted the uh, the the Thug Life sort of music compilations that you see on YouTube. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really I'll tell you it. this though. Up until this point, I agree with every decision Peter has made in this. Like I know we're supposed to be like, oh, you should have stopped that guy, but I'm like, hey, the guy has a gun. Peter doesn't know. Peter doesn't know what the fuck. This guy's dangerous. Peter's not a superhero at this point. You could have you could have cleaned that guy's clock. How do you know that? Really? Right. Took out bone saw. They took out bone saw. Who is bone saw? Has got like twenty four confirmed kills in that cage, and they took him down in two seconds. <laughs> Five of them were that night. <laughs> yeah, just murdered people. I saw you fucking hit it, get hit with a steel chair, and you were fine. So funny. Anyways, dude leaves. Peter goes down. Guess what, everybody? Uncle Ben's been shot. He's down there surrounded by. A, we get a very sad Peter. death scene. Yeah, yeah, very sad from Uncle Ben. Like, Uncle it, ben great. It actor. was the sausages. <laughs> like, I probably had five more minutes left, but my arteries are clogged. The sausages. Peter cries. Peter. Another another uh, meme you've seen Definitely. many a time on the internet the bad recently. We hear. Cry. Yeah, I don't think it was bad. It's just like, hey, cry. Like, oh, it, like, was, it was an ugly cry. Yeah, is what it was. It yeah. was ugly. But it also it had the emotion behind it, mm -hmm. it of what just it happened. Did. Definitely. It, Jen pointed out, of course, was like, fuck these cops. They're just putting a, a, a perimeter around Uncle Ben. Let, like, hold your own wound. <laughs> yeah. No one's going to put pressure on it for you. Do it yourself, old man. Peter hears uh, where the dude is, takes off running. Uh, he puts on his little outfit. He's swinging around. Like I said earlier, you get to see the cool swings. Yay. Lands on top of the car. The same, Do you have this trivia? No. That car, of course, is the car from Evil Dead. Sam Raimi hides yeah. it in every one of his movies. Oh, every one of Sam, cool. If you watch a Sam Raimi movie, you'll see it somewhere in there. Hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, she shoots through the roof. Spider Man's dodging around. He gets on the front. He punches through the glass. I like the scene. Yeah, this is fun. This is yeah. tense because he's yeah. like, I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. Yep. Yeah. Car slams in. They run into the docks there, as you always do in a Spider Man or a Marvel comic. Uh, Seriously. Spider Man gets to do the iconic come down pose of, like, you know, with his, cr his legs against the web and then go back up. I hated that. Who did it? Who did it doesn't make any it? sense. It, it, no it, sense at all. It reminds me of, like, a. Uh, 
when you're waiting in line for the Guardians ride and they have like the animatronics doing stuff. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. Like, but, but like, you've seen what real is spiders the physics do that? behind that. He's you're pulling it up. You're supposed to be able to pull yourself back up like this, but it just went too fast. It went too fast. You didn't see him do that. No, no. he didn't do that. He just like, it like sucked it back Someone in or what? Him back oh, you up. think he yeah, sucked it, it back that's into his hole? Yeah, that's you what makes sense. Like, like, oh, oh, that's gross. Oh, like spiders would eat it. I've he eventually comes do down, starts fighting the guy. The guy's got a knife. He's dodging. It's no big deal. Slams the dude's head into glass. I like seeing him in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. The shadows all going around remind me of the PlayStation Two video game Spider Man One, based on this movie. Yeah, I remember that one. Good game. Good not as good as Spider-Man 2. Not nearly. Uh, agreed. Uh, eventually, yeah, it's revealed. Oh my God, it's you guy. I could have stopped you or whatever. And then give me, get, you didn't give my uncle a chance. Give me a and shot. Then, give it, me a shot. It, what a weird thing to yell. And then, uh, yeah, he pulls the gun out and he twists his arm, similar to the Flash Thompson to its twist. A little bit more angry. Dude falls Snap back out of the glass, though. dead. Now, uh, I, I'm going to say this. Peter, if not first degree mur man murder, clearly manslaughter. Certainly, here. certainly he manslaughter. Chased this guy into this fucking warehouse. And just because the guy at the very end of this fight where he is clearly like just uh, assaulting this this human being trips over a pipe and dies, we're like, we're just okay with the fact that Peter murdered this Let's guy? Let's also remember... It was on him. He shouldn't have moved. Shouldn't have pulled the gun either. But I'm, telling, I'm just he, saying this. If I'm chasing Tim and then I stop and Tim in, his, in running away forgets to look left and gets hit by a truck, I still go to jail for chasing Tim but, into oncoming traffic. Do you guys remember what happens in the third movie? This guy Let's did not, not get there. All right, Let's all right, all there. right. <laughs> <laughs> the red oh, con. The guy that just the red con. That's right. Ah, uh, so Peter's got blood on his hands. An innocent man is all I'm saying. Yeah. Well, he's still a shitbag. Oh yeah, no, no, I, but not a murderer. But like maybe he had kids. You know, they're shitbags. Maybe uh, kids. While all, oh, so Peter goes home and hugs Aunt May. And I guess he. It seems like he kind of breaks the news too. I think mm -hmm. she kind of knew. No, I. I, I just call it's confusing. It's just confusing. Well, she's well, hold, she holds I, it, it together like, fine. Yeah, he. Broke she's the holding news it together her. fine, and then he finally says something. He's like, oh, 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 and like, doesn't even really hug him though. It's clear they these two did not well, like each other. She doesn't have a lot of strength in her old feeble hands. That's being ages. 90 years You're old. Wrong ages. later in this, this movie. That's fair. Many times in this franchise. We then jump back to Quest Aerospace where they're like, nothing. Put, well, I want to put fucking uh, Oscorp out of business. Where I'm ready for this to work. They have the evil pod from inner space. Yeah, they get yeah, that thing. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking right it, now. The test Weird. is successful. Great. And then, oh, we got a Bowie coming in. What is it? Ah! And then it's green and he blows up. And then ah, and he throws his fucking blows that whole thing up. And then all that shit turns into caps. It's graduation. Everybody just graduated. Congratulations. One of the few good transitions, Transition. like good tr cheesy transitions, because God damn, this movie has so many just straight up cuts to black. Like, they're like, fade we, in, we, we out, don't know yeah. how to, to transition. Let's just hard cut. Now we're somewhere else. Yep. Why? Just because, man. That's it how just, it is. That's, that's how comic books work. You. you have a little bit of black before you turn the page. That's what happens. Great point. Great point right there. He's got you there. He understands how pages work. <laughs> I don't think he does. Uh, a little bit of he's black. graduated. <laughs> hip, you hip, between pages? Uh, this is where Norman's mean to Harry again. With the whole, I'm not proving it wrong often, You're but congratulations. Shit, uh, yeah, yeah, science award. That's great. Um, the, uh, MJ's there. She breaks up with Flash. Yay. Yay. They say chess club. Chess club gets mentioned. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. <laughs> um, then they're all moving downtown or whatever. That's the, <laughs> They're all going to school. And they're all going to move down there. Harry, uh, Harry's like, hey, guess what? We got the fucking... We got it. We got the place. All right, cool. This is a thing to drop in. All right, great. Um, then something probably happens here. Oh, then we go back to the house. I really missed him today. We get more crying. That's what you're talking about. Just an out, of, out of the blue, Toby Maguire's crying in his room. Right, right, right. And May comes up, and he was there, though. He was there, Peter, and he's proud of you, and he knows you loved him he or whatever. There. Still had the hole in his chest, but he was there. Oh, no. Too far, Nate. And then this is then when Peter's like, I gotta fucking be the man. I gotta be the Spider-Man, right? And he's like, he's he designs the suit, or he pulls out back out his notepad and sees it, and of course, with his $100 he got, he makes an amazing fucking suit. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? This is always mm -hmm. a... I never liked this. I never liked this How part. How could you? Yeah, exactly. I'm glad that, you know, they do such a great job in Homecoming. What are these materials? Yeah, exactly. Very, very, very explained. Yeah. Because the first suit was something that me and Kevin would make with his welder in a garage and some spray paint. Mm -hmm. And the second suit was amazing. Exactly. Nailed I don't it. understand why there's no... Oh, right. Nicholas, why you, guys you nailed aren't it. getting it. You, you are correct in saying he that didn't need to wrestle. Very, he could just make suits for people. Well explained. Yeah, three varies. You're Super right. well explained. Uh, so then we get our. This is where the montage starts of like blurry photos <laughs> of Spider Man, all this crazy shit of Spider Man. Nobody knows what's going on. Wait, I, I want to go on the table. Do you guys actually like the suit though? Yeah, I like it. I think it's fine. I like the suit. Oh, I like the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the problem we were talking about earlier. There's no emotion at all, which is 
which makes the suit kind of suck. That's fair, but I feel like that didn't bother me so much with Spider-Man as much as it did with the Green Goblin. Like, with this one, I was like, oh, okay. Like, I think he did a good enough job emoting. I, There's an awful, awful... The moment for me of, like, that encapsulates everything is wrong with it, aside from them talking on the rooftop, mm-hmm. is when uh, Goblin's got them both up there on the top of the bridge. Oh, and and like, when, he, when he does let go, they cut back to uh, Spider-Man, and he screams, and it just looks like he could be he could be not talking, he could be talking, you don't know. It, it's just weird, because, like, you know, the, the character of Peter Parker, the character of Spider-Man, both of those are so hard to nail and I feel like you need to really have an understanding of the tone that you're trying to go in order to have it work all the way through to have this whole like when he puts on the mask he's a different person he's who he wants to be but like there's a delicate balance to that I feel like obviously Tom Holland they, they're doing it very very well but I just feel like this movie especially the even just take Spider-Man out of it Peter Parker he's a fucking nerd and like he's very insecure with himself and, and dealing with all his family issues it's like you need to nail that dynamic before you add on the Spider-Man thing and I feel like they just don't like there's no difference between him having a mask on or ha- the mask off we never get any quips at all and if we do they feel really forced and awkward and I feel like when you don't have that like and quips. there's no emotion going on in in the eyes yeah then you you're not Spider-Man. Yeah, you're just you're somebody else. Like it's that's a good one. That's I, a good point. It really bothers me, and it bothered me back then with these movies. Where back then I remember thinking, "Fuck, these movies are cool. I'm seeing Spider-Man in theaters." But that's what made them good. It, nothing right. else. Right. Yeah, very uh, that's why the Amazing Spider-Man movies were so much better. I think because we do get a little bit more of that attitude, where it's like, "This is the Spider-Man that I'm more used to." And then know? the problem with that, and we'll get there when we do but like uh the peter parker we see andrew garfield play is very much not the nerdy uh no, he's right. parker yeah, he's, he's the skateboards cool guy, yeah. he's fucking cool and i like that i'm totally down with that vibe but then there is way too much sciencey stuff that he knows that doesn't feel true to that character but so i also like, like but i also think he has a really b- way better chemistry with emma stone oh my god oh sure yeah, totally. way better than yeah but guys. i feel like it's emma stone's like, fault you, kinda, you kinda you kind of know, go back like i want to be friends with kirsten dance but like what so do cool. you really think of toby guy she's like i don't like there's a montage of Spider-Man doing Spider stuff. We've covered most of the stuff in here. Great. Uh, we cut to the Daily Bugle then, where we finally get J. Jonah Jameson, Jesus Christ. J.K. So Simmons, holy fucking the best good. fucking part of this movie. He's and there's so other good, good parts, but amazing. Oh my God. Amazing. It, it's so good. The last couple of weeks, we've been talking about stuff. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. You're like, fuck yeah, let's go. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, of course. J.K. Simmons is. Bring him back. J. Jonah Jameson. Bring yeah, him back. I agree. Bring him, I agree. Bring him, bring him back. back. You'd be amazing you if cowards. Back. The, you the way cowards. he transitions through conversations yeah. is so... It's just so perfect for the mm. character. It's so perfect to like... It, the tone that he sets is so perfect. I love it. I and think that's like some of the only good writing in the movie. Yeah, I think, and, yeah. and that's the thing is in a movie where we all were looking at it, it's like, why is she Mary Jane? Why is she acting that way? Why is he Peter Parker? Why is he? Why is this happening? Then you see him, you're like, oh, this is the best incarnation we've ever seen of J. Jonah Jameson. It's, it's weird, though, because the dynamic in that office is very, very strange. We have J. Jonah Jameson, who is larger than life like comic book cartoon character and you're like I'm enjoying this despite the fact that this is totally like doesn't really fit in everything else they set up then you got the guy that plays Robbie who's just a really really good actor Mm -hmm. and he's just like I'm just just playing the scene straight and you're going fucking nuts and then you he's bookended by then Elizabeth Banks who is this weird fembot that walks in and is like I didn't realize this was Elizabeth Banks I I have no personality Um, they don't know if they're going to set me up as a real character or not so I'm just going to be here here. I I just feel like she plays a perfect secretary like she does not like dealing I, yeah, with this I shit she and good. she's constantly having to and just being like hey do you want this or that great well perfect we paused it because yeah. Gio was like it's Elizabeth Banks I'm like that's not Elizabeth there's no fucking way we IMDb it I'm like what the fuck yeah yeah, what yeah. A weird good time stuff. man evidently she auditioned for the role of MJ as well I think oh, I did she? That. I think oh. I read that somewhere. Yeah. This oh. scene's fantastic, and eventually, through a whole bunch of funny stuff, it's revealed the paper sold out. So now Jay Jonah wants better photos of <laughs> Spider Man. Calls and Robbie, of course, says Eddie's been on the case for weeks or whatever. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice Eddie Brock. Mm-hmm. Um, Hope so, Eddie looks and talks exactly like Tobey Maguire because that would be really fun too. <laughs> 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 it's fucking terrible. <laughs> it would be bad casting. <laughs> Topher Gray is just like the I don't know. The he was so bad. He was so bad. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, we put out a full page ad that we need photos of Spidey cash reward kind of thing. Jump back to fucking Mary Jane getting off of work at the the Moon Dance Diner or whatever the fuck it's called. She walks Moonlight. out. I like how your wife uh, Paula called out on her Instagram story. This is the shirt. shortest waitress dress I've ever seen. <laughs> it's also, way up the thigh. Poor Kirsten Dunst, by the way, must she must suffer from the same malady that Tim has. 
has. That make, every time she goes out into the sun, she is pale as fuck. Uh-huh. She must be getting sunburned everywhere in New York during the summer. She was very pale. Is ungodly pale. pale. Yeah. So, oh, hey, didn't see you there. Oh, hey, Peter, what are you doing? I'm looking for jobs. Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm living with Harry. Harry must have mentioned me. What do you mean? Oh, they're dating. What? How long has this been going on? Nobody knows. No big deal. No respect. Exactly. Uh, But throughout this, they're both broke. They're both sad. But they're making their dreams come true kind of thing or whatever. And she's like, we should get catch up sometime. He's like, yeah, we're the moon dance coffee. And then he sees the thing of like, we need photos of Spider-Man. And he's like, oh, fucking ring-a-ding-ding, Tim. I got an (laughs) idea for this bitch. You're right. So the idea for this bitch is that he's going to take his camera and web it up at breaking crime. You know, these crimes are happening. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it, it, it takes two seconds to go. I guess. I just wanted the, it to jing, just to be jangling a little bit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But we, he's kicking the shit out of everybody and they're taking the photos and it's fun and it's cool. And I like yeah. it. He's cheese. And then it's he, cool until he brings the photos in. And there's a like there's a shot of him on the street. Then there's a shot of him swinging. Then there's a shot from above him where he is 80 stories up. On the side of a building, and no one's like, "How the fuck did you get that shot I mean, of Spider Man?" And it's like a selfie. He's like, "Oh, like I'm down <laughs> the building," and not only that, it's but great. he's got a hundred shots of Spider Man. Yeah. I'm like, "Did no one keep, teach this kid how to sell D- you bring he, one in?" That's it. Doesn't he like just admit, like, "Oh yeah, he's my friend." Yeah, yeah. Well, he's like, he's like I, kind of his personal photographer yeah. kind of thing. What yes. a, just a dumb. But still, it's still thing it's. Yeah. It's also like, such a like kid that maneuver. Shot of him, and it's like, how did you get this? There's, <laughs> you're on the outside of a building. It's such a it's such a stupid kid thing to yeah. do. Of like, nobody put this together. Uh, whatever though, he does it, and it's you know he's done it before, and he'll do it again. He's Spider Man. Uh, comes in, gives him to Jay Jonah, and Jay. Hold on. They bargain for like the price. Yeah, and wait, stuff. has he? he, wait, he tells him a two hundred bucks. Everyone, yeah. that's not what I'm confused about. Has he met Goblin before? Or no. Is this the first time no, he meets this Goblin? First time Goblin blows up. Okay. Thing. So yeah, <laughs> no, 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 because Goblin was going to find him. He, he must was like, have, I want to know where Spider Man is. I think is. we skipped that whole scene with the balloons. That was ripped mm. straight out of the end of the eight. Oh of shit! Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. yeah so it's World Unity Day, people. where of course the one and only Macy Gray, who will be a huge star no matter the decade, is playing World Unity what? Day, and we make a big deal about it because it's by Columbia Pictures. She must have been on the Columbia Music Records. brand. Jesus yeah. Christ, that What's was so with, fucking like, out of nowhere. It's She's weird. It was awesome, like, dude. It was such a hey. Remember when Macy Gray was a big deal in the late '90s, early 2000s? There yeah. it is, stamp of approval. Well, I think we missed the scene also where the board of directors was like, "Hey man, great job." Oh, yeah, yeah we would have done that. Now. We would have done that too. And you're gonna make a lot of money. He's like, "Well, I made it. Out am I?" The, the, I mean, just the whole outdoor set is just so terrible. It's bad, like it's, it's it looks so fake mm-hmm. and again, Batman and Robiny. Like yeah. it, it reminds me so much of just how. Gotham, it's supposed to be outdoors, but you could tell it's just an indoor set. Like, uh, the lighting's terrible. And the so balloons bad. were all CG. Yeah. But, like, some of them looked like hand drawn, like 2D. <laughs> Very weird. It was weird. Not a terrible scene when it comes, I, like, as far as action's concerned. Yeah. But I really actually liked him hopping on there and, like, bouncing around. Spider Man. Yeah, I just Spider-Man. don't understand also, when they're There's fighting. a moment where he runs forever, taking off his. Yeah, like, he his Superman, like, Superman. But I feel like yeah. he was just in that general area the whole time. <laughs> So yeah, like, he was taking pictures down at the bottom. Yeah, but then where was he running to if he was already there? Somewhere, yeah, somewhere to get changed. Uh, hide, I assume. Mm-hmm. Why he would do that out in the open? Terrible I, idea. I get, I get that a lot is going Webbing on. Webbing the family and bringing them back? Which, what a bad cut that was, where you see it breaking, <laughs> it shows the family like running towards us, then, then it, they're standing yeah, looking. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it's standing looking, and it's just like, oh it's man, it's a terrible. This transition. seems weird. Uh, we do also get the amazing bomb that that's never used again. Yeah, that that's okay. mur- just oh. uh, takes people's skin off, but leaves a skeleton. The vaporizer. The vaporizer. The vaporizer. Yeah, that was cool. But yeah. only killed, by the way, the board of directors, not the other forty not people on that thing, and not yeah. a son, not Mary Jane, who's now. It was. It's a very. It's a very precision. Selective. Tool. It's a very precision tool. <laughs> also, we get uh, Harry looking down at Peter, clearly looking up at him. And there's let's go inside. I forgot my drink. Like, all right. Like he saw you. Aren't you friends? Like just talk yeah. to him. Just fucking talk. Well, to him. I mean, the next scene they do talk. Yeah, but I mean, like, give a wave. Anything? Hey, just stare shame. at each other. Shame. Yeah, exactly. Shame. Especially, we'll talk about this later. Exactly. Well, just a wave. Right. Acknowledge that you're clearly making just, eye contact yeah, with each like other. A, just exactly. One of those. Right. Just a head nod. That's all you gotta do. Uh, yeah. This whole scene's fucking weird, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're hopping around. They're punching each other. Eventually, Spider-Man figures out to punch the glider and rip it away. And he, we'll meet again, Spider-Man. Such a like cartoon moment. We I skipped, love it. We've talked about it before, but that we had missed the whole conversation where Goblin reveals himself to Willem Dafoe in the mirror and all that shit. I liked all that. I love it. Is, it. It was straight out of a comic book, but you can't do that. There mm. needs to be some type of adaptation. Yeah. Some well, we type we of, have this thing called editing. 
yeah. where we could have just cut back and forth and, and sold the scene. But, but instead, William. we decided to just lament and lag on this long shot where you can see him acting into the mirror. And it's very weird. It's, and then finally, when he gets close, they cut back and forth. I'm like, that actually works. But it's just the beginning of it is very stage play. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. That's what it is. Stage play. Uh, uh, they come to terms on how much they'll pay for the fucking photos or whatever for Spider-Man, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. the, I see what I'm doing. I'm combining two scenes, aren't I? Where he comes back later with more photos of Spider-Man. That's when the wall gets blown out. Yeah. That's when it's Green Goblin. There, He tossed his cigar, came back in. That was cool. We had the whole mm-hmm. conversation where Harry confesses about, you know, he's crazy about MJ and this is whatever. All right, you're a bitch. You know what I mean? Whatever. Uh, probably in here, too, he lost his job at the lab with uh, Dr. Connors. Mm. Cool reference there, of cool course. The lizard. And then, uh, again, another shining example of why Peter's the good son. Of like, now he won't take the free job from Norman, yeah. right? He's not gonna, and, and I like that. Self-made man. Just want to put it out there, though. Hold I want to earn that on my own steam. What, no, what does that mean? No like one's the, ever going to give you a job? But you're never going to get a job? The real answer was, he's going to get fired from that too, so he needs to find something that's more flexible. No, that's fair. Yeah? That's mm. fair. Yeah. I just read it as, I'm going to be proud, and also kind of a fuck you to Harry. No, like, so, so hey, you guys, I'm better than you. There's so much hostility. You guys are like faking towards Harry that no, wasn't I there. It was silly. I was like, wait a minute, the guy that owns the company that you want to do, right. the kind of work you want to do is offer you yeah, a you job. Should take job. You should yeah. take the job. Take like, the job that's Peter. how jobs he work. He would have just gotten fired. He's running around uh, all, uh, that's why he got fired from uh, Congress. Uh, he Didn't is, he just want to be a photographer though? He did mention earlier that he wanted to be a photographer. When he was this talking to Mary Jane, yeah. he yeah. wasn't saying, I want to be a scientist. He's like, I want to be a photographer. Good yeah. for you. Wrong for call. nudes. Good for you. You're going to shoot a lot of weddings. Let's put it that way. A lot of weddings. Does he take photos of the horse, horse naked? The horse is always I've never naked. Seen I've never horses don't wear clothes. Sometimes you put pants, but do you put pants on the backside of them or the underside of them? Backside, just because. Peter what we're changes used to. into a Spider-Man outfit, but Goblin grabs J. Jonah, and J. Jonah shows he's a stand-up guy because he won't say who the photos are by, even though in a later photo we will see that there is a byline for the Peter fucking Parker. photo of Spider-Man sure. that if Green Goblin, aka Norman Osborn, would fucking read, he'd be like, "Hey, I know yeah. this guy. Yeah, that makes I can sense. cut all this out. No big deal, though." But, he but won't. like that was a really fucking. Real cool moment where he's like, "Tell me who it is." And it's like, "Oh, they come in anonymous." And it's yep. like, "What a stand-up fucking guy Good this job. dude is." Yeah, Good job. Stanley is here. Oh no, no, he no, was he earlier. Was he was earlier. The, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. yeah. The thing broke. At the World Unity World Festival, Unity he grabs the little girl. What? Yeah. what Not a, in a bad way. Quick little. <laughs> yeah, that's thing. So fast of a cameo. That yeah. is like a yeah. blink so and you'll miss camera. it. Good for him. Uh, Spider Man shows up. We get the good line. Hey, hey, kiddo, quiet now. Why mom and dad? Why the grown-ups talk? I like that a lot. But then that. That one second distraction was enough for Green Goblin to come and go, sleep. <laughs> and Spider Man to pass out and then catch him and get this really weird scene on the roof where. Dude, how many hours do you think he had him knocked out? It's fucking it weird. Yeah. What do you think he did him when he was knocked out? I was going to say, his not pants look at his face. Yeah. Right? I mean, that would have been the smart yeah, yeah, yeah. thing to do. But, you know, he we'll wanted, he wanted to give case. him that offer. But I he's think. crazy. The scene, that scene of them on the roof and then later the scene where Goblin comes back the next time he sees him, it's all so bizarre. It's weird. Where it's like. What the fuck is this movie? Like, I think the th- word this goes back to what you're saying. Of what's the plan? Like, what is your plan? I love that scene on the roof. To team up with Spider Man? Why? Why? To own the world. Rule the world. You know? To rule the world. Like, we're literally jumping from Norman Osborn to we're trying to rule the world, team up with me, Spider Man. Well, I think, I think I mean, it was rule the city, were, yeah. uh, but it doesn't matter because. Clearly, this guy's already stopped you. He's proven to you that he's a threat and an enemy. You've made him sleep. You've out. You, you, <laughs> like you've put him to sleep. Why not just kill? Let him fall. He's dead. Let him just. You're done. Stupid. Yeah, weird. And don't even bother looking under his mask. That's just like what he you, wanted what you to fucking, make a team, dude. And he wanted to have that trust. And that's you, know? you, you Work. can't. That bond. Teamwork, teamwork Think about makes the dream how stupid work. that sounds. But he's already proven that he can beat him. He'll just beat him again. Uh, Tim, you gotta understand. Forget everything you know, dude. Forget everything Forget you know. Forget everything yeah. you know. Right. He's Great crazy. Point. He's Sorry. crazy. He's dumb. Uh, so he just leaves it, and Peter eventually gets his wits back about him after just sitting on a roof. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to leave and go home. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him walking. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Something else probably happens here. It's all jumbled at this point. Well, but eventually well, we go to the burning house. At one uh, point, well, oh, we get, oh, we get that's it. It's that Jay Jonah puts out the thing. They're working together. People turn on. Oh, because uh, Goblin foreshadows. Hey, no matter how much they love you, they're going to turn on you. And I was like, oh, man, I guess does that play? In? Oh, that happens immediately. Immediately. It's like, no, they all they, he's with Goblin. Hey, everyone's like, fuck this guy. Let's we don't want to. We want to. 
uh, him arrested. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying Fake is news. this movie continuously just fucking does that where it's like, hey, here's this classic kind of point that, or storyline that we know about Spider-Man and it's just like, oh, well, we got to get it in here. Yeah, yeah. But they're just, missed, they're, what you don't know is they're, they're jumping months. We Between missed, every cut, matter. months. We, we missed an important scene, though, where you actually, and it's the scene I want to talk about, was when he swings her onto the, the landing. And he goes, don't mind her. She's just got to use the elevator real quick. And she's like, wait, who are you? And it's like, just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Yeah. And then does a dope flip off. And then does that cool thing where like, Woo! some of my favorite parts of the city where he swings and then goes, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Oh, off the window. And jumps off. I was like, that was it's way also, too loud. It's bad. also, we skipped <laughs> a pivotal yeah. scene of, yeah, Kurt Kr- does holding a mannequin. <laughs> With her hair going the wrong way. As they're swinging oh, this way, yeah. her hair is also going that way. Oh, really? It's just like, yeah. That's I have, weird. <laughs> it's on his stories. It's story. on his stories. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's funny. Uh, uh, so, so yeah. she's starting to fall in love with him, basically. Is what Everybody's I'm turning on the Spider-Man now. Oh, no. Then there's a fire. People are dying or whatever. Spider-Man, somebody, this lady wants her baby. Spider-Man comes out with somebody else. And no, Spider-Man oh, goes in and gets the baby. And then he comes out and the producer, like, oh, I'm going to arrest you. And he's like, here's a scream in there. And he's like, oh, man, I'll be waiting when you come back and I'm going to arrest you. And Spider-Man's like, I'm not coming back, chief. It's like, what is this fucking scene? Who go? All right, fine. Thanks, you fucking piece of shit. Jumps in there. Guess what? It's Green Goblin. They fight. What the fucking fuck? That was a weird what moment. That was a weird moment. Did he, did he <laughs> make the fire? Why was he yelling like he that? He made fire. the fire. Yeah, he made the fire to lure Spider-Man to get Spider-Man's answer. What's your answer, Spider-Man? <laughs> Well, this yeah. is months later. <laughs> <laughs> it's been four months, years. <laughs> months later. <laughs> they lost track of each other for yeah. a while. Okay, Max, be friends. Uh, they get into a fight scene. Uh, he throws out razor blades. <laughs> and then the iconic, in air quotes, fucking yeah, yeah. Spider-Man flippity dippity thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he that. would just Dude, those little them. pumpkin bombs and, like, I, I, utility weapon, whatever. Sure. I, they're always changing and doing stuff. But I remember when it first came out. That was the fucking coolest thing ever. He had a different pumpkin for any situation, guys. <laughs> where, 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 where did he put the pumpkins, you think? Were oh, they, it was it was on his... Uh, in the jet? On the jet, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. The toy explained it. I did like when he, he threw it out and they turned into blades. Peter, or well, Spider-Man's like, ah, jeez, or something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Where he's got to yeah. do it. And then there's an interesting thing. Eventually, they, you know, they're coming back and forth and boomerang and stuff. At one point, he puts up his wrists like Wonder Woman and does deflect one of them. And then the other one cuts him. Well, and he I was hit just it like, dead center. The other one okay. hit it with blades. Okay, you know? sure. You don't know how long it's been, it's Only months. his right arm is made of steel. <laughs> this fight's been going on for months. Forget everything you know. So he gets cut. And then he just leaves, like he, he the goblin and him fight, and then he just le- he gets I forget what he happens. He throws a bomb at him, I think. No, well, yeah, but he I mean he's not beaten. He Spider Man just leaves. Spider Man gives up. He like, leaves the goblin in there. Lunch. This is tough, guys. When does the kiss happen? I think oh, that uh, already happened. That's where she's like running and like we very not, much gonna, gonna get gang raped over the MTV Movie Awards. No, I mean we'll talk about it. It's just kiss. like you have to understand that like the movie, a lot's happening and forget everything you know. Like things are just changing on the. I plot. just don't understand why every single time Mary Jane is in an alley, it turns into a West Side Story, and there's just so many dudes trying to do bad things to her. Now that was so oh, quickly. So that was that evil. was the thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. The, she left an audition. Peter showed up, and he's like, "I was just happened to be in the neighborhood." Mm. Well, actually, it was two cabs and a bus. Like, what the like, fuck? Once again. Being creepy. creepy, yeah, that's being super creepy. creepy. But she's into it. She's like, mm, "Why are you interested?" Blah blah blah. And it's he's like, "Spin you." Yeah. So she leaves, and yeah, two guys who are randomly walking mm-hmm. see her go by, and they're like, "We're gonna, we're gonna fuck this chick." Yeah, and they turn, and like, go, "Man, these are just her these are creepy cat collars in mm-hmm. New York." That's not cool. Like, then oh, okay. she turns down an alley where their goon friends of them. Come out, yeah, like, like, yeah. I'm like, all right, okay, whatever. I will say this is kind of a dope fight scene though. Because he's like, he looks good. Yeah, yeah. I am yeah. fucking these guys up. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no mask. rage, and, yeah. no mask. Just the whole the it, shit it being out of these so guys. fast. Like him not yeah. being able to put the mask. Really, I think built like the the tension. Yeah, it was and, good. Yeah, it was good. You felt it. You were like, he's protecting yep. someone he loves. I really get All that. Right. And then puts the mask on, comes back down, and we get it, man. I don't we like the it. way I don't like the way his physique looks in the in the suit. It's oh weird. no! Yeah, no, he it doesn't look good. It what? reminds me of He's the. Too wide. It reminds me of the backflip video that in Mexico at that kid's birthday. Yeah, that's what it reminds <laughs> you. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> you we, we played it the other day. Spider Man backflip. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, the guy like. Were you not on the Spider Man KOs himself? Yeah, but like, I video. feel like we need to have a podcast from the podcast for those nips. I don't know. I don't for know what nips? it would be. Man. I don't no, know. Let's not, I, let's yeah, not, no, let's not. Let's not. Me for this Again, yeah, this was like my earlier claim fucking... of what's. So, what's Mary Jane costume theme? No bras. Yeah, it's All right, right. done. Like, like I those love her cold water on her. <laughs> Shout out to her in general. Shout yeah. out to those things. It's just I, I like this scene. This is one of the scenes they were credited in the credits. Yeah, separately. That's good. Yeah. Iganuk. 
Uh, I like the scene. I like that. I thought I, when I first saw this, and then again, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Everyone I like the upside it down. First yeah, that's great. Yeah. You don't cheat on your boyfriend with Spider Man. That's cool. Well, you know what? The a boyfriend complete is stranger. Total, yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's Spider Man. This is the second time you saved my life. <laughs> I was like, I opens it up. He's got no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, pulled on the mask, like spiders come out of his mouth. Like, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got cut. Cut back. It's it's Thanksgiving. This fire was on Thanksgiving, by the way. This so we is, do, I guess, get a sense of timing. Graduation. Now we do. Now we to do. Thanksgiving. Sure. Okay. Well, summer too, right? right? Yeah. That's when he was doing his montage. It's, it's been years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what Thanksgiving. What Thanksgiving? Is. Yeah. yeah. It was graduation 01, but this is Thanksgiving 06. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So Norman Osborn comes up and he's pulling it together. He's still kind of gobby in the elevator, but no, he's not. He's Norman. He brought a fruit cake. Yeah. Uh, they, Enjoy the fruit cake. Yeah, this is where Norman Osborn I feel is really lost. Yeah, to this Goblin. is it. Goblin, this, is where, this is where it's just Goblin is taking over. Monster. At this point. Well, we you see him I mean? in the elevator. I'm back. But then yeah, he pulls it together yeah, like yeah. he seems like he's going to be normal yeah, Norman. But he's not. Who's still a nice guy and he's not because he, he ogles he MJ. Was. Ogles MJ while they hear Peter upstairs. Then. Everyone comes upstairs to find Peter in his room, which is a weird move, right? And especially because it's like Aunt May, and then somewhere between the the top of the stairs and the the door, Norman went from being like third in line to being second. He like ran past Harry to get it behind. Yeah, him. I, just, I don't understand everybody going to go look for him. But, it it so but like the, when the camera pans up. I yeah. always really enjoy that shot. Never it's a bit of a mess, huh? Never or fully understood why Spidey couldn't reach over to grab the blood that was falling off his arm. Because noise. in this one scene, noise. he needs both hands he on the thing. It was a noise that. thing. Okay. That you see the little Velcro on motion. his hand? It that, makes a noise. A thing. noise thing? Always... He crawled out of the fucking room. Dude. Yeah, but that he did. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You got it. You got it. You're right. The other thing that annoys me about this, and I hate this trope in movies, when someone walks into a room and they don't, they can't see above them. You can't see like look at look at me right now. You can still see the roof. You can high, still see the these ceiling. are normal ceilings. It doesn't matter if you yeah. walked in. You would literally just be like, oh, what the, the high fuck? rise ceilings like, in New York. How did you get up there? Yeah, Why but the thing is, the thing is, he because he, he is Spider Man. He bends down to get the blood, and is still facing the direction of yeah. the window. Yeah. And just didn't see some spiders, a human being. Some spiders can turn invisible. As oh, a defense to, blend mechanism. Into, to blend into their yeah, environment. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. But shout out to that blood though. What the hell? It's delicious. <laughs> it looks strawberry it looked jam. Like blood. Yeah, it's what? weird. It looked like fucking like tomato soup. It looked, it looked, <laughs> like, it looked like blood to me. <laughs> really? No, it but was, I it really was liked red. how it dropped in that like that little effect. All right. What? Uh, no, no, you're right. But okay. we don't have to talk about the blood for the next ten minutes. Sorry. Oh, what's it going to be for the next? Peter minute? comes <laughs> back. <laughs> <some scene. laughs> Finally, everybody can have Thanksgiving. Blah blah blah. They sit down. Norman tries to eat the fucking uh, uh, yams, and Aunt May hits his hand, and he's like, "I don't like that." For a second, you're like, "Oh shit, she's about to die." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He jumps up on the table. I'll say this too, though. Like, stay in your lane, Aunt May. Like, why? Yeah. This guy's a multi-billionaire. Like, what are you gonna hit his fucking hand? Yeah, he's gonna end you. Hey man. Kind of You're never going to work in this town again. <laughs> Before he like, can process man. that, it's discovered Peter's bleeding. Oh Chip my up. god. And Norman finally puts it all together. Uh, bike messenger in no fucking way. And then he's just the fucking worst thing of all time. He gets up. I have to go. Something's coming to my attention. Is it the bloody arm? What, is, what do you know? And Peter Parker, so fucking stupid, he can't put it together. Whatever. We get the scene where they leave the thing. And Norman says a whole bunch of horrible things about MJ. Do what you want with her and bring her to the curb. Jesus. Your mother was a good looking woman too. I used to bang her a lot. Uh, of right, course, cool. Harry cool. says nothing and to, to, as a retort. He's like, okay, cool. His hero just you know said horrible things. He's got to fix that. But then he comes in and no one defends his father. And it's like, that's bad. And uh, no, that's no good. Everybody storms off. Everybody's angry. Didn't make any sense. The way that Harry responded to them responding to what just happened. You're mad? The fuck out of here, Aaron. Hey man, don't yeah. talk shit about his dad, all right? Fuck you know that. He loves his dad, it's man. It's bad. Hell no. Uh, then Aunt May goes man. home and prays over a photo of Uncle Ben. <laughs> just remember, you know, just saying the Our Father and then the wall fucking explodes. It's, there's oh! one, there's yeah. one more like intermediate shot where he's talking to the chair with the yeah, helmet the on there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go for the heart. All right. His heart being the family. So he does that. D deliver us from evil as we've said it before what a weird thing to make her finish Th that, that apparently hat. he does that and just bounces <laughs> what? Also, he broke her? her psychologically cause they get her and bring her to the hospital and she's just raping she's losing her fucking she is shit losing 
that was it. Yeah. 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 The goblin literally just fucking came to traumatize her. Let's delve into that. Let's get. Let's go deeper with that. Let's make it the cool. Finish no, it. let's just fucking make it a, a comedy scene. Her right accent's but really bizarre. But the thing is this. Here, here's what's the plan here. You got to go for the heart. Okay, hit hit him in the family, or just kill him. Right? Like, isn't that ultimately the goal? He's so why not? He James. wants to torture him. Yeah. He wants to hurt him first, and then why? kill him. Forget everything. To you know really him. fucking punish him. For what? Why do you torture Kevin? Team. Just kill him. So what is the goal? Like I'm gonna uh, okay, finally, like I'll join your super evil team. Like I'll just I'm sorry, stop fucking with my family. I'll come rule the world with you. Is that the goal? No, it was. Remember, he said go for the heart. Like torture him, make him wish he was dead, and then finally grant the wish. Or just kill him. No, you don't understand, you don't understand, understand how, how villains work. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, uh -huh. This is actually really silly. Do you remember how Goblin tortured the guys who wanted to work at Quest and then tortured the board of directors? No, he didn't just I, kill I them straight away. Oh, them. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think he weird. used that cool nuclear bomb and yeah. just fucking <laughs> Nick, imploded them. You just don't get it. Uh. I'm going to give you this book called Villains Rule. All Thank right. you very much. Right. Very much. You're right. Uh, so, yeah, then we get a whole bunch of stuff here where, yeah, Aunt May's there. You, you, you're not Superman. Great, great. Oh, well, we're not even there yet. Mary Jane comes by. Uh, do you know Spider Man? I have a crush on Spider Man. Do you know? I, I mentioned him. What did you say? He gives like a 15 minute a fucking. 15 minute speech. Weird. That's weird. That's fucking weird. And it's like you and Spider Man shouldn't be talking this way about this woman that is your friend's girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But then fucking they hold hands weirdo. and Harry comes in. And he's like, well, you're holding hands. You like, know well, what type of man you want to be. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What's wrong with you? Uh, then, oh, I said Peter put it together. That he knows who I am. Uh, Aunt May wakes up. They have a conversation there. You know, see your man to stand there. Everybody knows that you love Mary Jane. Oh, I gotta go. He calls her on the, the fucking, not cell phone, on the pay phone. And he's like, just don't go to any dark alleys. And then Goblin picks up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, can <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> come out and play? Do you think he was like eight o'clock Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> or now, probably. Uh, Mary Jane wakes up on top. Is it the Brooklyn Bridge? I don't know. She wakes they up on top of a man. bridge in New York, and uh, she's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> she she does like the fucking over dramatic walk back and almost fall off the bridge, and then runs to the other side of the bridge to remember she's on top of a bridge. Then uh, goblins flying around. There's a bunch of fucking stupid ass kids in the tram for some reason all over no, the bridge, like Boy Scouts. It's a whole troop They're of kids. Boy Scouts, right? Yeah. They're all yeah. in their Boy Scout outfit and a bunch of and leader. a bunch of puppies and cute kittens. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going yeah. on here? Oh. Uh, Gobby cuts it and grabs it, and everything's blown Save up and all that shit. Save and the Spider Man's on the other side of the thing. He sees it. He slingshots himself over there with some flagpoles. That's kind of cool. Uh, then yeah, he, 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 I never be the hero. Some, somebody comes along with a sadistic choice, you know, save the woman you love or let suffer the children. Let's them go. This choice means nothing because Spider Man's yeah. able to Immedi save them both. But also, but just he, doesn't even hesitate. Yep. Fifty people in the thing. Nah, Mary Jane. Fuck yeah. I'm going yeah, Mary Jane first. Hundred percent. Yeah. Good call, yeah. Spidey. It's hot. Yeah. Well, he loves it. It's, more, it's yeah. more than that, Nick. Well. You don't know what love it's is. It's love. I don't right? know what these kids She's are. She's going to be an actress one day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he swings over and grabs it, and then we've got a prolonged a scene movie. of him holding on to both of them. Him being like, you got to climb down, Mary Jane's like, I can't. He's like, you, you ha fucking have to. I don't. It's not about what you want to do anymore, all right? <laughs> then these garbage people down there are just like, we're going to bring the barge! Hey, we, have we have an incredibly slow-moving barge. We'll be there... Goblin. Five with minutes at least. Everything he wants is happening, but he's still just taking his sweet ass time making any moves to happen. All this stuff. I have a glider, but I can't. I guess stay comes still. through and punches him at one point, and Spider Man does like a loop de loop and grabs everything again or whatever. Mary Jane's Mary falling. Jane falls Mary down. Jane, of course, flying around at one point. Like, there's no way this. You're holding on to this thing. She falls, grabs another thing, uh, and then yeah, when Goblin's coming in for the killing blow or whatever, fucking the scene of like, man, they were like, man movie we wrote it you know it was it was you know the original teaser used the twin towers some things have changed how do we show how unified new york is now yep. they fucking hit goblin in the head with some bottles and shit and, and i enjoy this scene i the, enjoy the scene being like i hey. enjoy it fine that like i bet these people would have interfered but then it's just the you mess with one of us york, <laughs> you mess with one of us you mess with all of us that, that is like, the new york yeah, saying, 100%. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, why never, yeah. Uh -huh. that's why you never get into yeah. a fight in new york if you get into a fight with new yorker <laughs> and they know you're not from New York, yeah. oh, they all just, they all all just dog. And the people yeah. who were fighting will come oh, after you. Fuck you. And then up. George Bush came out through the first pitch. Yeah, yeah it was exactly, a big moment. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I expected when I first saw this one, for him, I was like, oh, that's really bold of these people on the bridge. They're throwing 
random pumpkins. He and just throws like, a fucking whatever, tomatoes. <laughs> they just had random shit. It was bottles and bricks. Whatever. Yeah. Bricks, whatever. Of course, Where did they get like, bricks? Who the fuck the knows? Bridge. That's what I'm saying. But I expected him to just, just, rip them to off just the come wall? up and just start nuking them <laughs> with the fucking... Or just like, throw like two grenades and, and they're all, all skeletons. You You've already killed Again, we were a very unified country, let alone New York City, all right? They were like they would put so their lives on line for each other. So what you're saying to me is that then. the goblin will kill everyone, but when it comes to fighting terrorism, he's no. He, I'm he, saying goblin got hit, far. and he's like fucking really. He's like, all right, I wept on 9/11 too. I'm yeah, not I'm gonna, gonna go. fuck with you. I'm I'll a new. You guys he takes one. the helmet off. He's like, I'm a New Yorker too. <laughs> yeah. You fucking yeah, idiots. Right. Stay out of this. <laughs> Drive your goddamn cars. <laughs> Good anyway, Spider-Man gets the thing down there, and then we they start fighting, but they're immediately off. Sp Norman throws him into like abandoned brick building. And there's the thing, whatever movie wise, it's like it's so stupid when it's like, oh, here's the final fight place. But I loved the set design of this area. Oh shit! I thought it was super fucking cool, and like I thought that it allowed the fight to really have its own feel, and the choreography and the the way. I liked this part of the movie a lot. I love, I also like that he's. We get that shot where he throws the grenade and it blows his <laughs> mask off, which probably would have taken some skin with it too. But I foreshadowing guess. of what will happen to Harry Osborn in mm -hmm. Spider-Man Three. But mm -hmm. I like that shot, and then he comes back and he's got just like half the mask, the mask yeah. all fucked up, and it looks. I thought that was cool. And I like, and I do like that. You know, like it took so much out of him on the bridge, holding those two things, then getting thrown over here, then getting the bomb. He's worn out. That he's like, yeah, he can't keep up, and like he's stomping on him and doing all these different things. And like the fight choreography is fine. It's very much it's early two thousand super. Basic, but I thought it was uh, it, it wasn't fast enough. There's a lot of issues with it, but it was choreographed like there was thought put into, OK, Spider-Man has spider powers. This guy has a glider or whatever. I like the way that they use their environment mm -hmm. to. Yeah. yeah. Focus on the powers and abilities. There's a have. dumb look he makes though, when he's like on the ground and he like, oh Peter's, like, like, yeah, yeah, like he's and he looks up at him and like I'm gonna get you now. He kind of makes that face and it's just I hate it. It's Wait, when one. he when 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 Goblin turn, it says, he's about to he's about to like oh where shoot he stops at on his feet. Uh, I don't remember, okay. but it's, yeah, it's in that scene. He looks up and he's like, oh, I'm gonna here's where I'm gonna sure you know throw some web at you and then like Goblin, I think like. I don't know what the fuck he does, but it's just a dumb look. I appreciate that uh, the whole, like, I, I did it to you when we were getting ready to do this a couple weeks ago. I'm like, me and MJ, we're going to have a hell of a time with his trident that we're just introducing this thing that he apparently has had with him, I guess, <laughs> all movie and none of us knew. <laughs> all right, he's got yeah, a trident. It's sure. very, very weird. And then Harry, uh, of but, course, Spider-Man's like, don't worry, because I can choose one or not. I can I, Things cut me. So I'll yep. just catch it with my hands. Well, it's that thing is he hulks up. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the classic Spider-Man pinned down by all the stuff, not even from Homecoming, but from the comic, mm -hmm. right? But when he realizes Mary Jane's on the line, then he finds an extra oomph to get out there, right? Yeah, grabs it. Fights Second back, wind, yeah. Beats the shit out of him for a little bit. And then, yeah, uh, uh, <sighs> Goblin plays his final card to reveal the whole Megatron Optimus Prime 1984 movie thing of just like, yeah, spare me. Help to me. reveal his identity of he needs his help. Know. You're the only one who can save me. I know this. You're, you've are you been like a son to me and all this shit. But he says something where it's like, come on, Peter, what do you say? Or some shit like that. Like, give me a hand or something. Like, no, you <laughs> fucking weirdo. Like, <laughs> and he's like, I already had a father. His name was Ben Parker. And then, and then so and then he just turns. He's like, he, he was never Norman here. He was always the goblin. Mm -hmm. Just like, farewell, Spider-Man. And hits a stupid little button. What a dumb fucking move. And to what his plan exactly was, we'll never know since he's dead. <laughs> But the glider comes in in the exact fashion he wanted it to. Yeah. And Spider-Man, Spider-Sense, causes him to flip over it. Now, if plan had gone... If Spider-Man doesn't have Spider-Sense and it hits Spider-Man, mm -hmm. you assume either he's going to hit the button again to make it stop, mm -hmm. no. or he's going to get impaled too and 100%. die. It's it murder suicide. It's yeah. murder suicide. Mm -hmm. He hits the button, Spidey jumps over it, and rather than hit the button again, Norman literally goes, ah! <laughs> throws his hands up yeah, right. and gets stabbed into the wall. He's been really <laughs> low. Yeah, real right small intestines and yeah. dick. And he's like, that, "Oh fuck I, me!" I, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hurt my hands here. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's a slow death. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Slow, also, uncomfortable. Also, man, been able to live through that. Never know. I, I mean, we have no idea how much time passed. <laughs> <laughs> that and so him getting time. dropped off naked. So much time. And yeah, and then his final thing is don't tell Harry. Which, if I'm Spider-Man, that's when I go, see ya. F yeah. Fuck you, you piece fuck of shit. I don't you. owe you anything. Yeah, don't tell gone. Harry. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> but instead he brings thing. him naked back and wrapped up in his blanket back to the fucking house, drops him there. Again, what's his plan here? Here's your, the dead body of your father, but no one knows his goblin. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just, uh, all my stuff, here it is, right here. And you're the, we are witness seeing this, so now I am on the hook for a second murder. Well, he said don't That's right, him. a second murder. The first one he should be, well, like, absolutely, we all agree, convicted for. Mm -hmm. This one. No. 
I had it coming. He's I would have wanted. I would have loved for like, what did you do to him? You know, Harry's all mad at him. Just go, yeah, hey, fuck you. You fucked MJ. Yeah, fucker. Yeah. Yeah, Harry, gets, uh, Harry, gets, uh, Harry, gets, Harry gets the gun, but Spidey's died, already bitch. gone. Then we jump back. To, we we jump jump to the funeral there. Classic Spider-Man scene that we're Spider-Man funerals go together as well as. Forced and Batman Fox yeah. X-Men movies. Yep. Yeah, good you nailed yeah. it. You good nailed call. it. What yep. a good analogy. Uh, of course, uh, Harry lets on that he's never going to give up. He's he's going to go after Spider-Man. He's going to get Spider-Man. This is he'll ne- he literally swears on his father's grave that he'll avenge his father and take down Spider-Man. Uh, and Peter's just like that's tough. And t- <laughs> Peter walks over, and then him and MJ go to Uncle Ben's grave. They're just chilling there, and then this is yeah where MJ's just like it's always been you, man. The guy I didn't talk to up until nine months ago, maybe guy nine years I've ago. Had. Time's weird. But. <laughs> maybe all told five minutes worth of conversations in my entire life. Which are mainly you. you just being a creep show and showing up outside of my work twice. Yeah. Uh, but Peter's like, man, nah, man, man I only got the love of a friend for you. And then they kiss, and then and he harsh. walks away, and then she's like, oh, he's Spider-Man. He kisses like the upside-down oh, Spider-Man. He, she didn't do that. That's, she, what, that's he, literally she did. what he did. She that's definitely had that she look. Did. She like, did that. She had yes. a look of like, she I just realized something She has a look of like, big. this fucking nerd turned me down. No, no you're no. No, she touched her mouth and was like, oh, I recognize that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What does not know. Just she like starts she has the ink yeah. yeah, but then yeah. she'll and, which is and, fucking and, and, bullshit. In Spider Man Two, she'll always know. She says so. It's no big deal. She'll always know. And then and then we, here we go again. Can't Let's wait just till he gets that part. here we just fucking get back to it of another uh, Tobey Maguire voiceover. And that's who I am. I'm fucking Spider Man, and you, I'm gonna be Spider Man, and it's not, him on a giant fucking American you're flag. You're excited about like this. The, a giant American flag, it's guys, because yeah. of terrorists. <laughs> now I will say this: every Spider Man movie, I have a lot of my critiques of this movie. There are a couple standout moments. I like this spot. Not only do I like it, I like when he jumps off, swings for a second, not one, but two. Double webs. Mm. Pop, between my legs, baby. Bam, shotgun. Go. We're done. And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. No, Andy, that was, that was beautiful. That was, that was great. About That's great. That was Thank that you. Thank you, Greg. Really beautiful. Uh, don't have too much else to say. You already mentioned the terrorist attack, World Trade Center stuff. Like that was all. <laughs> that was shot. In case you've forgotten. In case you've forgotten. But that was shot just as the trailer. Um, and that footage was never planned to be part of the movie. Oh, it was just. Oh. For Did you ever the, see that trailer? trailer? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh, yeah. you it's can, cool. You can check it out. Um, I remember seeing it in theaters. Yeah, so it was fucking cool. dope. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that. This is gonna be amazing. It only played uh, during a limited amount of movies and a limited run of those amount of movies. Atlantis: The Lost Empire, American Pie Two, Final Fantasy: The Spirit. That's Within, where I saw it. I Planet of the Apes and Jurassic Park Three. Oh, it may have uh, been Jurassic Park. 3. I could have seen it in any of those. Then I was, I was gonna, gonna say, say I saw a lot of those movies. I saw I saw American Pie and all those. Um, and then we got the color of each of their costumes meant that Spider-Man was shot in front of a green screen and the Green Goblin was shot in front of a blue one. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. How fun. And uh, Hugh Jackman revealed that he was supposed to have a brief cameo as Wolverine in the first Spider-Man. Jackman actually went all the way to New York to film the scene, but the plan was scrapped when the crew couldn't gain access to the costume. Are you oh, fucking in a normal shirt? Who cares? <laughs> but that would have been. Wait, what, also, wait, what is the costume? Yeah, the costume? <laughs> the, like, the leather, 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 leather is it? That's so dumb. They, but it, like, what context would he have been wearing that costume? <laughs> and dumb. if he was there, why was he not helping with this fucking thing? That's the is. Yeah. One thing that reminded me of uh, to, going back to Goblin. His Fuck, costume, I wish that would have happened. His costume reminded me of the Batman and Robin costumes as well. Yeah. That, that sort of like very yeah. hard, shiny, colorful. Rubber. It was ve- definitely yeah. reminiscent of. It was of that too era. all green. He's just all green. Yeah, yeah give us like nothing. Give me an accent color. Yeah, exactly. Well, Thank you. And this, it's so oh, funny because you look back and it's obviously it's orange eyes. Let's let's preface. We're tearing into this movie a lot because it's fun to tear into, but we would not have it's, any it's of the so choices I, in Homecoming were it not for the mistakes. That I, made in this movie. I, I I as I said before, I was very uh, I was, I'm really excited for this run of Spider-Man mm-hmm. movies. Me too. I enjoyed this movie, and it's one I haven't seen it forever. Sure, and there's that. Sure, it doesn't hold up by modern standards, yeah. but I enjoy. I thought it was fun, and I it, liked it. It's Me fun too. to tear down, but I. At the end, I was like really impressed by like I expected this movie in my mind to be awful. Mm-hmm. Paula was like, "Oh, it's my favorite Spider-Man." It's like, no, it's not. And then we watched it, and she was like, "Yes, yeah, definitely that was my favorite Spider-Man." <laughs> but I was like, "Wow, that was a lot better than I like in my memory rem- remember it being." Especially having yeah, just yeah. watched all the X-Men movies, yeah. oh where my it's God. like there yeah. was so much worse than you remember. For this to be better than I thought it was yep. gonna be, 
It's a win in my book. It, it was it's a not better than I thought it was going to be. It was pretty on par. Well, no, I think I, I, I agree say, with Nick. I think it was on par. I'll say a shout out to this movie because that you look at the Goblin costume, for instance, right, and you think clearly we can't do that again. So how do we iterate on that? And then you get to Vulture, and you're like, oh, let's make it a little bit more realistic and a little bit like scarier, and it, because it's rooted in, in in reality, and that was a strong choice. But you don't get there unless you've had the huge mistake that was the Goblin costume in the first place. Remember, the new Goblin doesn't even have a, ma- a costume. Doesn't need like a mask. He just needs to wear a sock on his head yeah. sometimes, like Greg does. And they say that a hero I mean, can save you. Stan tan tan down ragu. Stan tan 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 down. Are we still doing this bag? What's up, motherfuckers? Okay. It's Woo! season two of Ragu Bagu. Rad guys talk bad guys. I'm one of your rad guys, Greg Miller, alongside my co-host Andy Cortez. Ooh, I'm feeling bad today, Greg. Wait, and for the first time ever, the third rad guy. Kevin Coelho. What? <laughs> I had no idea. Congrats, this is dude. exciting. I've always, I've always wanted this. Congrats. You got Thank it, you. buddy. You I've got been it. on every episode. Uh, of course, we came off a huge win with Ragu Bagu Season 1 going all the way through XCU and MCU. And even a guy from Solo. In Solo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, we do things here. Uh, we're going to rank all the Spider-Man villains as we see fit every movie and see where they go out. If you want to run the now, I've heard, 100,000 follower followed account. Ragu Bagu Vids on Twitter.com. I don't think it's that I think it's close you, to that. You can go to patreon.com slash kind of funny, $69. Tweet whatever you want, just like so many of our friends have. I've seen a lot of people taking it up. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andy, Kevin, today we're ranking on the Ragu Bagu Vids list. Yeah. Green Goblin, a.k.a. Norman Osborn. Okay. I think he goes at number one. Sure, and probably. No other yeah, option. By this All point, right. yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, like I said, I love Willem Dafoe's performance. I'm up to debate it. I think the but. suit sucks, obviously, but like, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I like it was his really fun. Like, I, think what a too, weird... I think it's too campy and too comic booky. Sure, uh-huh. um, especially I when, definitely think as we get deeper into this, yeah, when the rest of the movie isn't the same tone. But it's just Willem Dafoe. I like that they were like, we really can't help you out too much. You got to carry the performance. He's like, all right, and cool. I can it. be super sweet. I can be ah. again. I love Willem Dafoe. I just think that they gave him a, maybe too much responsibility. Is he allowed to talk to you. I feel like they were like this. Just hey, we got a lot of people working on this movie. film, but you just you know what? Well. You just do, it, do whatever you gotta do. do. It. You just do it. it. Yeah. I'll do this. I'll, gl- I'll just lean against the building. Why That's not? That's why they you haven't done them again. Like the fucking alien mask. Again, though, it. what do you want? Th- I feel I'm for him, though. Hey, that's what I'm saying. He gets there on the set, and he's like, wait, I'm in the suit, and he's in the suit. And they're like, yeah. He's like, how are either of us going to emote? And they're like, you got to power ranger it. And he's like, fuck. Right. 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 You're missing the suit. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know, I know. again in three. And They did not nail it. I do not think they nailed it. The second one. What? The second Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man? We'll get there. Oh, we'll get there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Save it. Is uh, Goblin in there? But ne- th- yeah. we never get a proper Kinda. Goblin. It's always a new Goblin. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, there you go, guys. Ragu Bagu Vids, number one. Norman Osborn, a.k.a. The Green Goblin. And now it's time to rank the Spider-Man movies. Our number one. Spider-Man. Yep. Spider-Man. Yay! No choice. No choice. Yay! And I thought, you know what? I'll give it to it. It made the list. You know what I mean? It's not one of those ones where I'm just like, ugh. It, it, it's oh. number one doesn't even deserve that. Now being, here's yeah. what I think is more entertaining at, at the start of a new in mm-hmm. review. So it's the number one. Obviously, it's the only one yeah. we've mm-hmm. done. At the end of this, where do you think it'll be in mm-hmm. terms and just in general? I guess how I mean, many are we gonna have? We're gonna have last. seven, right? With Venom, six. With, with Venom, with seven. Seven. oh no, I'm sorry, you're with right. Six you're right, with yeah. Venom, yeah. And think, eventually, we're gonna add into the Spider Verse, but that's yeah, December. Oh well, yeah, that's, sure, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I, top on the list, probably four, maybe. Three? I think this movie is second to last. I, th- I think three is going to be dead last. I, I think three is definitely going to be dead last. last. I think the yeah, three Venom's a, a fucking a wild no, card. A wild yeah. card. Are you kidding me? You've seen those trailers? Give me number one. <laughs> I mean, you're right. You're well, right. I think this is going to be give me the Venom. Give me the Venom. I don't know. He's so good at it. I think it's horrible at harmonizing. I think it's going to be number five. I think this movie is going to be number five. Yeah. Second last. So what's going to be below it? Three. Spider-Man three. Spider-Man three. Yeah. You think Venom's going to be better than this? Yes. Yes. If anything, just because it's more modern, and that I've noticed that about my taste, where like even through the X Men movies, no, film like, evolves. I pre- yeah. I preferred Apocalypse or whatever, just because it felt like a more Oof. modern movie with like updated visuals. Sure. Like I don't yeah. know, that stuff interests me a little bit more. I'm worried about Venom. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the first episode of Kind of Funny Spider Man in review. Come back next week, Thursday at nine a.m. to see where we rank Spider Man two. Swing by. Hey! Hey. Nick stole that from Joey. I did.